Hello! So a few days ago, I had a stream with Fringy and Top Hats and Champagne and Bullet Berry, the four horsemen of PC gaming. And now that I actually hear myself saying that, it sounds a little I mean, presumptuous. Hmm. Anyway, we had a gay old time. It was fantastic. It was lovely. And we're going to start doing these podcasts every two weeks. The four of us will be talking about videos that maybe console peasants and fanboys do. We'll be talking about news and games. Just stuff like that. We want to really get the ball running here. Make it something consistent. We did a couple things on that stream, but we mostly go into it blind. And what happens, happens. But the primary thing that we did was we, the four of us, we went ahead and did a, a live response to this. This is a video called Xbox One X is more powerful than most gaming PCs by a guy named Colt Eastwood and it's shite. It's awful. It's misleading. It's identitarian. It's it's pretty. It's pretty. It's something else. So this guy also did a response to me a while ago and I didn't know. I just I learned about it on the stream as you'll see. Maybe I'll get around to it later. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. But he doesn't look good. So this is myself, Fringy, Top Hats and Champagne, and Bullet Berry doing a live response to Colt Eastwood's video. And it's pretty, it's it's gonna take a while. You've been warned, you, you knew this already, you can read numbers. You noticed I was extra long today. Let me see, going, let's see, where do we go from here though? What what, what should we use this to kind of segue into? Um, oh, I thought we were gonna it's, watch that, uh, that, that video. Colt Eastwood video. All right, yeah, if you wanna go ahead and put a watch together, together. I actually, and, if, if we can, I, I wanted to know your guys' opinions on something. If I may, yeah. Um, you you hear about Intel's new processor bullcrap that they're doing, the i nines and everything? No, I haven't. Really? No, I really. only read the press announcements. I haven't dug into it deeper. Oh darn it! Okay, so never mind. We'll do it next time. Please research that because it's oh, really, yeah. really interesting. Good, because I need a I need a new CPU. I for so, one am looking forward to my new thirty-two core computer. No, 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 no. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it at all. You do not. But um, Just look when right. you make the watch together, make sure that when you stream, um, the link is not visible. Yeah. Mine, yeah. That would have been Top Hat's fault. Mine's not uh, visible. Mine's right. not visible. Okay, but come, come, so the, I, I just figured the room would be private with invite only. But, yeah. <laughs> no, I thought was, that was once too. Yeah. Oh, I re <laughs> that right. was a good well, day. It's, it's, it's not on the screen right now on my side, so uh, I'm gonna paste the link and I'm gonna put it on full screen, and then all, everything's gonna be fine. Okay. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Definitely. Yeah. Now I'll post it on Twitter yeah. again. Yeah. You just uh, just uh, send that to me. Yeah. We can take a look at it here. Mm -hmm. Right there. And also, just looking at the title, uh, just looking at the title of this is giving me flashbacks to 2013 when everyone was talking about oh how the Xbox One and PS4 and stuff were way more powerful, more powerful in gaming PCs. Oh, oh yeah, it's it's yeah, history I repeating, this. definitely. It's I it's it's, just, it's always cyclical. Yeah, because yeah. people don't learn. No, and, and then that, two years later. Nobody cares about graphics, fucking PC elitists. And then, woo, graphics! Well, the and thing is, like, the the, it would be fine if they had an advantage. It would be fine. There wouldn't be an issue, because exactly. it benefits all of us. So, like, I, but all, it, you know, it's just one of the many reasons why I like gaming on PC. You know, if a if a console is more powerful than my PC for like six months, right? Whatever. That's, you know, it's no big deal. Exactly, because then yeah, Intel yeah, goes, well, good. we need to fix ourselves, and then NVIDIA's like, okay, we can fix ourselves, we, let's do this, you know? Yeah, yeah, but oh, it doesn't like, really happen much anymore, better. though. Yeah, exactly, yeah. that's that's what it's going to be for the Xbox One X. Well, right, By yeah. the time it comes out, I'll just buy a new card, and then it will be yeah. better, like, much better. People, there's all these people talking about how Xbox One X is a beast, it's like, it's real, no, it's not. It's not it's, that, it's not really. It's, it's re <laughs> it really is Again, guys. it really super isn't. sucks, because again, looking at it on paper, if you go look up the specs, I mean, the the way they worded them, at least, on paper, it looks amazing, but it's just... No, like, they, they tried to make it sound so damn good, and then we're like, oh, okay. I was, I was... making that thing, by the way, or where I should put it? <laughs> uh, you yeah, like the YouTube video. You gotta post the link to the, uh, the Watch Together room. So Me? Just URL. I don't know, I even Wait, know how to no, do that. Fringy, you were gonna be the one to do it. I I thought okay all right I'll set it up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh man, that's funny. 
We're doing good. I do Even, remember, um, though, that is this going to be the topic that's similar to when I was looking at those Steam surveys and just sort of pointing out the yes, obvious Yes, it's, it's all going to be a misinterpretation of Steam yeah. service again, but only worse. <laughs> no, because he, he did bring up the same points that I, I recall NoobTube Gamer brought up once with how uh, and Nixon 720 gamers, and Crep Gamer right. and <laughs> most PC yeah, gamers it's... don't don't use 1080p at all. Like they're all under but this, it. This is what I mean. Like these guys don't seem to realize that a lot of PC gamers are just people on their laptops playing League and of Legends. Be... Right. Yeah. They also there's... count. They're also PC gamers. You know, yeah, it's, it's not um, like it's right. just so now I have the link. Now I'm gonna put it on full screen, and nobody will see the link, and nobody's there to troll us. Excellent. Oh yeah, and I got a. Post oh no, full screen is a plus feature. All right, well then I'm just gonna put on the the audio on my end. No worries. Well then, uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let me see. Hold on, I'm just posting the. Uh, the top video. heads, are you using OBS? Now I do. Yes. Okay, so would then you just can, uh, yeah, make you the window bigger and you crop can out the top. The window, yeah. Click on the window. Yeah, and then just uh, crop out the top there. Yeah, but but, but now, now I have something else in front of it. So if I now switch to see, I can switch to scene. No, <laughs> you're trying to you're trying to be too fancy, man. <laughs> here, here, just go up to the go up to the link and then just press delete. Oh, there you go. What? Yeah, go up to the yeah, link. Just, and just the... highlight highlight the highlight the um the the URL and just delete. Okay. Yeah. So that, that is that URL. is that is wow. That is, that is, wow. Just, yes, that just... is some innovation <laughs> in PC gaming and PC usage that I... <laughs> I, I, like I am so I am simple. Flabbergasted. I'm, wow. Oh, Hello, but... I'm, I'm Thomas and Champagne. I'm supposed to be talking about PC shit. Never oh, listen sorry. to me. So Never here's listen the, to me. Is, that's, that's a solution that I come up with because I don't actually know that much about how to work a computer. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I just delete the link and now no one yeah. can see it. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, I have to change my scene. That means I have to uh, put right. two of my segments on the stream invisible. Then I'm going to have to edit the property so that the people on the stream can't see it. So yeah, hey, how about you just delete the link? <laughs> just highlight it and well, that, that there backspace button. Do the most. Okay, all right, let's, the let's watch this damn video. All right, all right. All right. Uh, the Steam there we go. survey just released. Oh, sorry, it's muted. What PC gamers are gaming on. Not for me. Not on my side. Information uh, is valuable That's because PC gamers can no longer lie when comparing their rigs to the. Okay. Uh, okay. This yeah. is all right. This is this is already a contention I have, and I I hear it all the time. PC gamers are not a community; they're a demographic. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So don't just say like we're, we're PC community. gamers. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, yeah. The. Don't say now when PC gamers say because every person you see this is a console mentality that every PC is the same mm -hmm. is a console mentality that everyone has some sort of standardized hardware and this is a, the the idea that you don't have the ability to toggle what you have because my PC takes a shit on the Xbox One X and it's not even close and anybody can go out because remember by the time the Xbox One X releases it'll be five hundred dollars. Look, 1080s are already cheaper than that right now. now Do we actually forward, have a release date, by the way, for the Xbox One, Xbox X? It's Xbox. November 9th, I think. November 7th? November 9th. Oh, no, somewhere in November, yeah. Yeah, so, sometime in November. Mm -hmm. So fast forward, and also they compare the prices, they, they compare Xbox One X's prices to current PC prices too, which always bugs me, right? Yep, but nah. a 1080 is probably going to be a, more powerful than... A, uh, an Xbox One X. But in the it end, it all boils down to what we said in the very beginning, though. It doesn't matter right now because we don't have real-life performance charts of all the games available because there are no games available. There's no public uh, benchmarking right now. There's no independent sites who can take uh, the Xbox to the office and overclock... Uh, sorry, sorry, overclock Xbox. <laughs> I mean, uh, put it to a stress test, stuff like that. These numbers are still just not available, and that is what yeah. bugs me the most. Yeah. The um, Xbox also... One X might as well not exist. Yes. Yeah, exactly. right now. Yeah, right and now. and as far as I'm concerned, I'd rather be able to play games at 60 frames per second than a checkerbox 4K just so that I can a, play it at 4K. Yeah, that's such a huge that's such a huge deal when you look at Steam Steam surveys like this. The surveys don't measure things like have you have you dialed back for more FPS or are you playing on a laptop or dual screens or multiple monitors? It's like the that original uh, Steam survey that came out about resolution, how it 
you know, you can't just look at that and try to draw a conclusion. You have to actually understand what numbers mean. It, multi monitors and laptops and things. It like that. It also completely well, yeah, exactly. leaves out that many people will not benefit well. from 4K or sometimes even 10, 1080p at all because we have so many retro gamers on the PC. By the way, for example, mm -hmm. so uh, we have. Uh, I would even say millions of PC gamers who play none of these modern titles, who just are there for the old timey experience. You have so many people who just play casual games, who just play strategy games, who don't need 60 FPS, don't even need 1080p. So it's all about what do you want out of your PC, which is one of the biggest advantages of the PC. You don't yeah, have to don't... buy a one size fits all set. You can build it to your liking, to your needs, to your wants. Uh, yes. Therefore, this whole standardizing PC hardware uh, so that they can play AAA games properly is a very console peasanty thing to do because their narrow mindset only allows them to see that as the 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 set bar that the PC has to cross, which is bullshit. Exactly. Don't take don't take PC performance as some sort of an aggregate to measure against something else because that's really foolish. And you should be more intelligent than saying than taking an average PC because people use PCs for a variety of things. And Colt Eastwood knows damn well that it is not difficult at all to just go out and buy a, a PC that will stomp on a console or that will stomp on the Xbox One X. There people already have built... Yeah, people already prices. have listed lists of parts that are the same price or power more powerful or that are a bit more that give you a bit more. It's just and then we fast forward twelve months and it's not going to be any problem for anybody anymore. There's yep. no excuse yeah. exactly yeah. though. Anyway, like all you need to do is look up on the internet, type in the price that you want to pay, then yeah. after that write in PC build, and there are all your resources. Oh, yeah. There's no excuse other than I don't feel like it. And, and, yeah. and if that's the case, there then are. you should just be honest there about are. it. <laughs> yeah, it's like saying, the, what's, what's the top speed, or what's the average speed of all cars in the United <laughs> States right now? Yes. It's like, well, it doesn't matter, because I can choose between buying a Corolla or a Corvette. So what's, yeah. what's, the, what's the point? Yeah. But I mean, even when you look at this survey, you should be able to figure out that if the resolution is 1366 or by 768, then it's a laptop. That's it's yeah. just be a, and, a and what if somebody's playing at an up and what if someone's upscaling the resolution in the game yeah well yeah when that's right two yesterday when i played borderlands 2 yesterday it automatically set me to 4k even though my monitor is technically 1440p so i mean the survey wouldn't justify that but whatever let's yep. move along uh, just you know uh, just things to think about that we didn't think about the x <laughs> oh sorry x one x <laughs> Xbox One X may be promoted as a 4K gaming console, huh. but not every game. <laughs> uh, you look like a damn fool, don't you? <laughs> now that we've made 4K, now that we've made 4K mean anything we want it to mean, then yeah, it is a 4K gaming console. I mean, Jesus. But I don't know why they keep saying 4K gaming console 4K. though, because like that's not. They they seem to. I, I'm not sure if this is just because they're very bad at articulating what they think, but you know, <laughs> but anything it, like you can run 4K games on a PS4, it, it would just require them to look a lot worse. Yeah, like it's not it's not that you have a console that is a 4K console. It's just that you have a piece of hardware that you can choose to have games run at 4K on. It's it's a choice. It's not exactly. about like okay, we need more powerful hardware so that games can actually run well. No, any game can run well. You just need to dial back the graphics. Or if you want it to be 4K, you just dial back the quality of the assets. It's not It's not like, okay, this console is capable of 4K. It's... It's, that's just not how it works. Mm -hmm. It also leaves out the the um, standard graphical fidelity of console games. If the Xbox One X is going to be the same as previous console generations, then the standard graphical details that you can see on the screen are like either the low settings on the PC or the medium settings on the PC. So you can, of course, sacrifice graphical quality for frame rate and resolution. But then why go for 4K anyway? I mean, mushy textures will be mushy textures in 4K just as they will be mushy textures in 1080. Yeah, that yeah, would just, just be sharp and crap clear. textures. Yep. Yeah. Really? I don't think um, people understand plus, how... Oh, sorry, you go. And, and plus, when it comes to um, 4K, it's... Uh, I forgot my point, you go. I was going to say, <laughs> I don't think people understand how difficult it is 
to play at the highest peak settings at 4K. I, they, they think it's such an easy thing to do. It's not. Not a lot of graphics cards can even handle that today. You can get a lot of games to go highest settings 4K, but every single yeah. game, I mean, it's it's not... 4K 60 is tough. 4K 30 is way more doable, okay, but it's yes. still it's still 4K. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and and they and we talk about frame rate a lot. Like it's something they completely forget and doesn't matter because it's all about 4K. Um, but remember, I mean, like Destiny 2 on the Xbox One X is going to be at 30 FPS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, which you, is, you, really? I'm not surprised. Which is also doubly important uh, because so many games on consoles are Twitch based. They don't have many games where you just have a static screen for a long time, but they have very Twitch based games, competitive games, fast games, in which 30 FPS will hurt you doubly instead of just, you know, in strategy games, for example, where it wouldn't matter at all. Yeah, it's not a so. big deal if City Skylines is running at 30 FPS. Exactly. Uh, no. But by comparison, if you're playing. Uh, I guess any first-person shooter, or if you're playing a third-person shooter with stealth elements, <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, you know, it's actually kind of important that it, it run. And I always see things like, oh, this this company just knows how to make 30 FPS feel smooth. So what the? What are that you doesn't talking mean about? anything. What does <laughs> that, that mean? But it but it exactly. feels smooth, dude. No. It feels smooth. Like, God. It, it's. <laughs> it's the I, same frame rate. I hate <laughs> when people say, God, you know, to me, 30 FPS feels so much smoother than 60. Yeah, I remember, uh, I, you're I, retarded, I, I remember bitch. Watch, I, I remember watching delusion. Like an IGN review. Oh, it runs at a smooth 30 FPS. Ha <laughs> <Yeah>. ha, <laughs> that's a good one. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. That's strictly up to developers, and no matter how much of extra course it is. power is What's under the plastic of even mentioning hood, that? some choices may be made to prioritize things over native 4K or... Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> so here he goes. He's he's apologizing already. Uh -oh. He's apologizing uh -oh. already. As I know that's not even out. And now no. remember, it used to remember it's a 4K gaming beast. Yep. But some sometimes maybe maybe not maybe so not much. So much. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now remember, <laughs> we're only highlighting this because you guys made such a big deal out of it. Why am I getting mm -hmm. flashbacks? No Man's Sky. All of a sudden, it's it's weird. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, flashbacks. The, oh god, it's please remind to, me of the game. This. That's horrible. <laughs> it's very very important when you listen to this, mm -hmm. uh, and when you listen to our criticisms and keeping in mind stuff that we've said in the past. The reason we're making such a big deal out of this uh, 4K stuff and the cross-thatching, uh, cross hitch-hoof-riding stuff <laughs> that they do is that for years, they made fun of Sony for doing it. And for years, they made a huge deal about how it's going to be what it's apparently not going to be anymore. They're the ones who played it up so much. And Microsoft is the one who played it up so much. And, and not only the, were they the ones who played it up, but they got from us as a response... Okay, that's cool if it works out. And still, yeah. they were not satisfied. Yeah, it's it's just very important to note that to me, it doesn't really like the difference between, uh, what is it, checkerboard rendering and true 4K. It's like, I honestly don't really care about the difference between the two. Yeah. It's, I'm more of a frame rate and graphical quality guy before resolution. But when it... But you guys made this such a huge deal. And you guys made fun of Sony. And oh the God, Sony guys for witnesses. so long... Ugh. That now we're now this is all coming back to get you. Mm -hmm. That's why we're making a big deal out of, about it because you 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 didn't do what we did and just said maybe we should wait and see. Because yep. I know or there's a lot of Xbox alt. gamers out there who said who who were fine. Well, I, let's, yes, let's yes. Uh, the difference between a closed console box and a widely varied PC configuration is that PC gamers get the choice of how to run their game. Yeah, it's and right. definitely gets just debunked yeah, himself. Thank you very much. We can stop this video. Yep, Go home. Yep. All right. Everybody, <laughs> uh, uh, 40, how long is a Fortnite? Yep. Yeah, how long is a Fortnite? Days? <laughs> no, uh, how long is a Fortnite? It's two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Okay, two weeks. I don't know. Okay. okay, a Fortnite for you Americans <laughs> like me is two weeks. Yep. Yes. It, two, Fortnite, two Fortnite. weeks. It's the same amount of syllables. Just say two weeks. So in two weeks from now, we're gonna we're gonna find another yeah. video and we're gonna see if we can get a minute in. I wanna yes. I wanna do a special thank you to Colton uh, Colt Eastwood for uh, for making this video and being so objective <laughs> and uh, you know so so thank you so much. See you next time. Thank you very much. Bye, bye guys. <laughs> bye bye. All right, all right. See ya. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that PC gamers all have gaming rigs. What? Uh, that doesn't wait, mean what? that. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Okay, I mean, I think what I think what he means when he says that because this is very important. This comes up all the time. 
where do you draw the line between a casual PC gamer, a hardcore PC gamer, a middle of the road enthusiast? You see, that's the thing when you when you're so used to dealing with standardized hardware with consoles, then you look at PCs. It's not so easy. I mean, if I mean, you could you could play flash games on an old laptop. You can that's play true. League of Legends of World. Of, like I could I could I played World of Warcraft on my old ass like six year old MacBook. It just it like it'll just run. It just and will. It's, it's so. always the same thing that they always ha only have this one standard that they measure everything up against, and that is triple A, triple A, triple A. Can it play triple A? Do you play triple A? Can your computer not play triple A? Then you're not a gamer. Do you not play triple A? Then you're not a gamer. Exactly. They, they, for them, it's, it's very simplistic. It's, it's a very easy formula. Triple A, good. Everything else, not gaming. We have noticed literally. that as well because when when Sony was like spending too much time apparently talking about indie games, people were like, oh, you know, it's they were being indie very games about it. for the poor indie people. Games, they don't count, <laughs> even though they're games. They don't count because reasons. It yeah. pisses me off so much because there are, there are indie games out there. Like I, I I expect like as the default, I expect AAA games to just not be interesting. Exactly. Or good exactly. At this point, I I have I have so much more faith in these AA level games or these indie games. If I go to my Steam library here and I go to if I go to my I can go to my profile, look at my top played games. I'll do the same. I bet. Yep. I mean. Yeah, Daisy, Dirty Bomb, Killing Floor 2, Gary's Mod, Seven Days to Die, Wallpaper Engine doesn't count. Vermintide. Um, I have to go down to... Is Arma 3 a AAA game? No. Okay. I don't... I, okay. I wouldn't say no, I have to get. I have to get to... I have to go all the way down to Fallout 4 at 1, 2, 3, oh, 4, dear. 5, Now I'm six, doing the seven, same. Eight. Let's see where, where no. my first AAA comes I have to up. go down nine spots till I find a AAA game. I, get I think I can beat down. you there. I get three spots down. <laughs> Oh, mine, is, uh, <laughs> mine is Binding of Isaac. Which one is it? Binding of Isaac Rebirth and then Grand Theft Auto V. Okay, GTA V. All right, fair enough. Yeah. My uh, most played game is Civilization V. What is your uh, first AAA? AAA Civilization game? VI. First, I know that AAA. eventually my Steam account will connect and I can tell you about uh, this too. First triple A. <laughs> whole, oh, wow. I actually played a lot of Watch Dogs. That's my first triple A. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I, it's Fallout dude, 4. I, I actually wow. enjoyed Watch Dogs. Uh, you know what? I enjoyed Watch Dogs. I did too. First I, heard, hell, but I liked it. it. Um, what I had to do was I had to turn the, the volume off every time I played it and just watch a movie and play it at the same time. That's what I did. Yeah, no, I, well, I did that as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's I just when you look at and that's not to say AAA games can't be good. It's like The Witcher, Wild, The Witcher Three, Wild Hunt is mm. you know example. You've got Metal Gear Solid Five, Skyrim, uh, Grand Theft Auto Whoa. Five. Um, uh, I have to keep scrolling down till I find one. Borderlands Two, because uh, I keep going through and I'm just. Would I, you say XCOM is a AAA game? You reckon? Well, uh, uh, you see, here's oh, the thing: we have to a... ask each other what AAA means. Right? Yeah. AAA yeah. Games are. Right. Well, usually Pretty it's nice. just it's a, just a huge fucking budget. Truth be told, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't I don't budget. think that that the XCOM series had a huge fucking budget. It had a huge budget. Would so you... for me, subjectively, it would be double A. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And I think uh, it also has to do with the uh, publisher too. So like, maybe it, it does have to do with yeah, the marketing does, budget yeah. and stuff like that. Yes. If a game's got huge marketing, yeah. Well, it, yes. If it if it is produced by one of the big ones like uh, Vivendi or Ubisoft, yes. yeah, then yes. it's basically a triple A game. Well, yeah. except for yeah, I guess like Rayman, you know. Uh, so then, the, didn't Electronic Arts start recently to also publish little titles, almost indie titles, at least on Origin? Yeah, they it's did. It's not a, there as a publisher; that's just a distribution platform, right? Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but so when like, I'm looking at all these games, normally it's these double A games and these indie games for actual yep. replay value, right? I mean, well, they, yeah, yeah, they so, have it. They have that's it. why because I can, a lot of games don't have, have replay game. value anymore. There are very, there are very few triple A games that I could look at replaying because there's just not enough to it. But when if the comes, game's got diverging paths and stuff, then yeah. When it comes to your computer, though, where do you draw the line between a computer computer or gaming computer? I mean, how do you draw that line? Uh, I would say that it's a computer that you told. built. It was a computer that you yeah. built, I guess, primarily for the purpose yeah. of playing video. Either Maybe it's not necessarily that you're going to play nothing but video games on it, but you picked the specs, keeping in mind that you wanted to play video games on it. 
But basically, yeah, either was... that or you took the computer that you had, or for the purpose of playing games better, added some sort of an upgrade to it. Mm -hmm. So if I were to just take like, a laptop and try... Ti, yeah. Well, hey, Barry, I mean... did you notice that one one uh, room above us is budget, Barry? I did notice that, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> he he thinks he he thinks he sounds like me. He thinks he sounds uh, like me. So is this, is this, is this one of your stalkers? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are Join probably me. creepier than yours are. I, I do like yeah, how my my stalkers never never follow me on voice things. Thankfully. <laughs> I do like how on this video that we paused on, like, while talking negatively about PC gaming, he's got Deus Ex on there. I just find that <laughs> ironic. Right. Yeah. I, can, like... I, I did- I remember when the Deus Ex Mankind Divided uh, footage did come out. I was watching a Jim Sterling video, and he had gameplay footage in the back of it running on a console, and it, it honestly looked like garbage. Yeah, it, it's not great on consoles. It's not really- it's not- I, I just think when you're playing a Dash X game at all, you should be playing it on PC, because that's what it was designed for. Right, uh, shall anyway, we continue? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, the I'll take... of the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X. In fact, I'm going to show you that a large majority of PC gamers, when comparing price to performance... Wow, he's playing boring, jeez. ...may be on with the 2013 PS4 <laughs> and Xbox One because you get much more for $500 on the Xbox One X than you do for a 5 Wait, 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 He's got 2160p30 in the green, like that's the better than 60 FPS. What? Jeez. Put put out any poll on Twitter and people will prefer 60. You have to wait until you're gonna re so hard. Oh my god. He's probably gonna pick like some really... Oh god. Well, how about oh, a two hundred dollar so Blu-ray well, player, by the way? <laughs> a, G a GTX right. seven sixty. <laughs> See, the, the thing is, I, I, I top hats hate when people do that. When they're like, "Well, our console has a Blu-ray player. Do you have? Blu is we don't need it. Yeah. We don't need exactly. that. I don't need a Blu-ray. Yeah, like, I haven't. I haven't Netflix. used. I haven't used an op my optical drive in literally over a year. I, I disconnected mine. Out. mine. It's yeah. just not a thing. Nice just it mine's just external. It's yeah, yeah. I, I don't even have it. It just why, why should it waste even that little bit of a resource that it takes uh, exactly, to, to run yeah. it? So, I I can't remember. I mean, even even when I was reinstalling Guild Wars Two to play again, and I originally I had download or installed it with discs years ago. Um, now I just downloaded the just downloaded the game from the site. You just log in and you download it. Yeah. They have just brought that up very often with the Xbox One X. Well, you must uh, factor in the Blu-ray player. No, I mean I'm not even. I, I'm also not factoring, you know, a, a TV tuner card or something like that. I'm not factoring in a USB uh, foam missile launcher because I don't need it. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, and uh, most people don't need it. I'm one yeah. of the few people I know who still kind of sometimes buys things physically, like you know, DVD. Exactly. Like, you're you the outlier sets. then, which is fine, of course. But when they compare. Uh, the gaming platform Xbox versus the gaming platform PC, I would say that the vast majority of PC gamers do not have any need for a Blu-ray I would say the player. vast majority of people in general aren't really thinking, oh, we've got a Blu-ray, because it's it's irrelevant. Yeah. All, like, all the consoles, yeah. except for, like, Nintendo, have a Blu-ray player. So, yeah, who cares? People will, nowadays just, I mean, even still, 2000, 2017, they'll be able to play DVDs. A lot of people still just buy DVDs. Yeah, I'm, I don't even buy DVDs. Really? I, just I don't buy DVDs, but, yeah. yeah. Sometimes I forget things. that people are not as technology literate as we are. It's 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 wow. a bit strange. Yeah. Well, it's just exactly. the streaming services are so big now. I mean, why? What's yeah, I mean that, that there's still people out there, for example, buying DVDs. You know? Yeah, like, it's because yeah. a lot of people wow. don't know the difference. Yeah. Yeah. It's a disc. Yeah, they just say, "Hey, Ooh. look, this is a movie I want to watch." Yeah. I like yeah. how Christmas from a DVD this guy player. Is. He's all red and white it's... and green. That's kind of Christmas. Yeah, he's all Christmassy. Yeah. <laughs> Price per dollar, <laughs> probably. Anyway, let's see it. All right, let's go. Right. Right. Let's do price per dollar oh, online PC. multiplayer. The Steam yeah. survey is only a vertical slice of whomever chose to do the survey. Wait, hold on. I thought the that is that, that's that, okay, chart. okay, okay. Wait. Isn't okay, let's back. Let's back up a second. Just a second. Yeah. Just a second. Bringing your mic is a bit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Fix. Yeah. Fix. Restart your mic. It did, it's doing that thing. Fringy, Fringy's mic is trying to censor him. <laughs> I would too if I were his mic. Right it now or? No, it's good. It's good. Yeah, we got. Yeah. Right, right. Right. Let's 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 listen yeah, to this one more. That. Okay. Dollar PC. The Steam survey is only a vertical slice of whomever chose to do the survey. 
that but doesn't sound right. That comes from the survey, well, it's that's the definition of a survey. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it, the way the Steam survey works is it basically pops up and says, "Hey, we want to do this survey." Yeah. I was going to send the survey specs. last month. I did it. Yeah, you, yeah, you can, you could, you can choose not to do it. Yeah, I'm sure so, most people just. But still, the, the nature of a survey though is that uh, it is usually representative after a certain threshold of people who participate. Uh, most most surveys, for example, in politics, who will win the presidency are. Done between what a thousand, a thousand ten thousand people. people. Yeah. But usually it's a thousand, so you can get a kind of representative uh, result out of thousand people. And if they ask only thousand people on Steam, it will be kind of representative. So I'm pretty sure they they know how to do the statistics. So yeah. Yes, any I need like to a, point out that I like system it's of a service. system of a game in yep. chat. I like his comment: price per performance coming from a console that isn't even released. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, tell us more. Tell us more about the performance. Yeah, seriously. And remember, if you go to a GameStop and buy this shit, tack on ten percent for tax. In America, uh, not not yeah. in Oregon. You not in Australia. Really? We don't have sales tax. No. <laughs> really? Yep. Well, in, in Australia, we got GST, which yeah, is but it's included in the price in, in yeah, America no, and many know, places. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's let's continue. Yeah. Right. Lies, sugarcoating, and bragging. Steam gathers this information. Wait, I wait. I I, I hear sugarcoating, Brian. Let me back. Yes, yeah, we, we sugar for lies. Sugar. Keep going. Uh, There's no room for imagination, imagination for lies. Yeah. No, keep yeah. going. The Steam survey is only a vertical slice of whomever chose to do the survey, but the honesty that comes from the survey leaves little room in the imagination for lies, sugarcoating, and bragging. Steam gathers this information by detecting hardware and performance. Okay. Oh, okay. Nah, no, Coming... it just detects hardware. Performance? What? Performance? I was going to say. Um, how does it... No. Mm -mm. No, it, it doesn't. Has. It just says, here are your hardware specs. It doesn't say what you chose to play on. Also, how, I like that the whole premise is that PC gamers all the time lie and brag and sugarcoat their rigs because <laughs> they want to deceive us. Oh, yeah, it's like, Colt, maybe you shouldn't lie about the survey. Maybe. <laughs> well, what I maybe love you shouldn't do that. is this is all coming from a guy who is is going to be talking about a console that just doesn't again doesn't have any doesn't any exist yet. out yet exactly yeah. so he's sitting yeah. there like you you guys you guys lie and you <laughs> cheat and, and you sugar let me tell you the price per performance of a console that hasn't been released yet exactly all right okay then all right well, well bring it on. all right you Okay. One of the biggest arguments from PC gamers once they are challenged by a filthy console like the Xbox One X is I don't I don't well, I don't that remember is a calling false it I've, that I've, is I've, a I don't I have never been challenged by a console. Not one time have no. I been challenged by a console. Never once has a no, it's just no, it's not a it's not a challenge. No. It's not, not really much. It's especially yeah. considering that the four of us uh who are well some of the more loud voices in the in the PC gaming community about this whole console shit have all said, no, this console would be cool if it succeeds. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. exactly. But they, I don't know where these people are that they're referring yeah. to, and I've asked them on Twitter to point them out, and I don't get answers. Yeah. Um, and I could, if, if they want to, if they want to tell me to start naming out console peasant names, then I could go to Twitter right now and just start going down a list. But in terms of the popular people who are PC advocates, I can't think of any who are actually vitriolic or, or, or no, malicious. I have not seen one say. video from anybody saying the, the Xbox One X is trash. Please don't release it. Console peasants are shit. Yeah. Don't buy it. No, I haven't seen uh, it One all. of the best comments I ever got in a, in a, in a, in a live stream chat was there was a guy who said... Um, who said one of the things I really, really like about Rags is that he doesn't ever look down at other people's specs on PC, and he never makes fun of uh, console gamers just because they play on console. They have to actually do something. It's, ne it's the never, though. It's never just because somebody plays no. on anything. I remember I mentioned this on Twitter once. I There seems to be this persecution complex, particularly among Xbox fanboys, who legit seem to think that because they play on the Xbox One, that's resulted in persecution of some sort. Oh, yeah. And, like, like do new, they yeah, honestly yeah. think that, like, the average Xbox gamer gets any of that? I don't hate to do to just play an Xbox One. I mean, I've never told He's them like, that, like, and remember, I, doing that. It's fine. Nobody yeah. cares. Most of the people, most of the people who play on PC started on console. 
Well, yeah, exactly. In America. In America. In yeah, America. In America. I, without I, a doubt, in America, yes. I made that mistake, yeah. and I got torn apart by Top Hats for doing that. So, <laughs> yeah, there's... there's I'm Love you too, Barry. <laughs> so, when you've got... So, we come from... Like, I have a lot of experiences with consoles, because most of my life, I have I was a console gamer. I had a lot of experience with like, the good consoles. I'll say that much, you know, like yeah. so PlayStation, I PS2, know GameCube. All about the console experience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I own, like, and, six consoles. And from my perspective, because uh, I think I sometimes use harsher language than you guys when, when talking about the peasants that I talk about, but even I, when, when I talk to a normal console gamer, only go as far as saying, I think in the current state, you're making a bad consumer decision to buy a console instead of a PC. That is as far as I would go. I wouldn't call such a statement a persecution. Of course, when somebody goes full peasant, I'm going to go full re tech fun mode on him, but uh, in a normal conversation, I would never berate somebody for choosing a console as that. It's because any nobody device. cares. Nobody yeah. actually cares until you make a big deal out of it. I, I see this whole thing that I started with PC, uh, with defending PC gaming as a defensive thing rather than an offensive thing because I was, I'm merely reacting to bullshit other people say. Yeah, I'm it's, it's very similar, I got it's it, very similar to anti-feminism as well, yeah. where they're just reacting to what's happening as opposed to going on the offensive. Yeah. Yeah. And when you, uh, and when I was a console, a lot of the stuff that um, I, you know, a lot of the ideas and the misconceptions that I hear now and that I'd go after, those are the things that I believed at one point because that's the stuff you hear. You mm-hmm. just hear it from people about PCs. They, they're always break down and never work. And all this stuff like that. And it's too complicated for you retards. You know, it's always <laughs> strange. It's always strange though that it's the console guys who say that PC gaming is really, really hard, and it's the PC guys who are always saying, "No, you're 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 smart enough to use a PC." Yeah, yeah. I, it just is, think it, I think it's the, very. I think it's very telling. The arguments that are often used uh, are things that are basically saying that you're not that great at many things. Like, oh, you have more money than me. You're smarter than me. Like, right? Is that really something yes. you want to admit on the internet? You're richer, more you're, inte- more you're more rich, you're more intelligent, you're you're <laughs> sexier, and everything. Shit, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like, look, let's go, let's go, let's uh, put this into a real life perspective. Let's say that you're driving around in your Toyota Corolla, your five year old Toyota Corolla or whatever, and you pull up next to a guy who's got a shiny brand new Corvette. And you say to the guy with the Corvette, oh, yeah, well, at least I didn't spend as much money. He's like, do you think he gives a flying fuck? No. Do you no, think he he's doesn't. like, well, darn, I made the wrong decision. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah, he's like, do you think the guy in the Corvette is going to honestly give a shit that you pay less? Nope. I mean, at the most, he's yeah, going to be like, you're driving okay. a manual that's far too complicated. Yeah, doesn't that yeah. mean oh, yeah, you're kind of stupid? Oh, yeah, driving a manual is far too complicated. <laughs> you, you get the other side, too. People, people saying that yeah. PC gamers are poor and, and can't afford good good things like consoles. Or, and it's, it's just, you don't... It's, yes. That don't yeah, make it's sense. Like, it's like every time like, they need the logic to flip, then it mm-hmm. does like... It does, exactly. Absolutely. It's like, Absolutely. Is, is, a PC ga- is, is a gaming PC $10,000 or are we poor? Pick one. Pick one. Please, just... Like, choose which, choose which hill you're gonna die on. Well, how many computers? Well, how many computers have you built? Well, they usually die on the hill called the console peasant topic switch, as I named that uh, yeah, phenomenon. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, phenomenon. I, I, they just I, I, keep I, I, on with something <laughs> completely different as soon as they they are out of arguments for that one particular topic. Yeah, they it's want just like yeah, resolution. It's because it's kind of because they argue like certain people who they just have a bunch of talking points, so they don't yeah. actually know how to debate. Kind of like you need a Sarkeesian. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You fucking uh, garbage but humans, by it's, the way. It's just like resolution. <laughs> During the last three and a half whatever years when Sony was kicking the pants off of Xbox in terms of resolution, resolution didn't matter. And now, of course, all of a sudden it does again. Yeah. So, there you go console like the xbox one x is i've been gaming at 4k 60 for years nobody nobody says that well, 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 well he, he, he continues on to say i think in the next two seconds or so to say okay. that's a lie whoever says that you get you have been gaming in 4k that's a lie okay wait <laughs> let it go let it go then let it go yeah okay let's, let's uh, let I've me take been the gaming wheel at 4k 60 for years when you hear this this is a lie uh, PC gamers no, I, rarely what bother with 4k no nah. Yep, no, there you go. No, imagine, no. imagine having so. Imagine being so haughty, right? Also, what is it with people who fucking have all of their footage playing against bots? 
<laughs> I see there's a pet peeve coming up. <laughs> no, it's just it's just whenever you watch these videos, it's always a console guy playing like a, a like a fighter game or racing game, and he's playing against robots. <laughs> right. I, I, I don't think know. It's, it's mostly because these people actually record their voice whilst they're playing, so they can't get challenged with something. I don't know. You know? I just that does shadow yeah. plays. So but great. but anyway, um, we we now know that every PC gamer who ever has announced yeah. that they're playing or have been playing on 4K. Our dirty liar. I think uh, it's a very yeah. uh, important statement to make. And 4K has is... been in. Go ahead. Uh, well, I was just. I mean, most people. You know, when I was saying that most people don't say that, it's because most people don't. I, I rarely hear people say that. But then again, to say that nobody does it is incorrect. Yeah, as well. right. You've right. just right. gone just the opposite people... direction. It's like think about how how the attitude that you have to have to assume that people are lying when they say something totally credible yeah i mean that it's a mentality that i've noticed from a lot of the the these these console channels the crap gamers and mooches and all that they they think the worst of other people they mm -hmm. they they think that if you're on the other side you must be lying you see they're like don't there's no way they me. can entertain the idea yeah there's no yeah. way that they can entertain the idea that someone just isn't lying to them and by the way, we're talking about lying. Did you know that we're all console port beggars? Then I oh, oh god, yeah, oh, god. god. That, that one blows my <laughs> oh, mind. Oh my god! <laughs> it is it's just a, because we, just because you just mentioned that they think everybody is a liar, and that the first thing that cut into my head was, okay, I can't even recount how many times people from the console side called me a console port beggar when I always, always. I'm the one who always says, uh -huh. I don't want your fucking ports. I don't want them. I don't need them. Please keep them. Every, I have enough games. Go away. Every time I think of that, I think of you because I'm like. No, he yeah. wouldn't even want the game anyway. Like, yeah. he, he wouldn't. But no, the thing is, like, 4K has been out. At, the resolution was since 2003. There's at least, at least, since all this time has passed, one person. How is that not logical? Right? That I mean, there's plus, always something. is the thing that a lot of people just don't care about. Like no. me, I don't care about 4K. Say, I just don't care. Like, yep. I've got a 4K monitor, but I bought that primarily because I wanted more real estate on the screen as opposed to actually playing it in games. Right. I still play games at 1080p. I, I play yeah, games I play, at 1440 my games my are all. Yeah, my 14, yeah. I got a 1440p monitor. I play my games at 1440p. Sometimes I'll play games at 4K, yeah. but for the most part, it's 1440p for the frames. Me too. And mm -hmm. the, the exactly. textures and all that, the quality of it. Exactly. And I most of the time don't play games that require any such fidelity, so I'm good anyway. Well, yeah, it's like if you're playing indie games, if you're playing Hotline Miami or something, then you don't. It doesn't matter. You don't need 4K. I can yeah, I can like... cannibalize Christian bishops in CK2 just fine with 1080p 60 FPS. Yep. Mm. <laughs> um, you mentioned. <laughs> Would they... Oh, sorry. I was going to say you mentioned uh, PC port beggars. That that reminded me of JTech. Um, I don't know if you you know he uses every single one of our names in his tags. Um, I know. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. He'll, he, I, does he, is he still put my doggy in? No, his, what, uh, what he does? He, what he, he does? In my thumbnail. Uh, last is... time he even used our four horsemen of PC gaming yeah. uh, thumbnail that yeah. Like a Sobers did for us as his thumbnail. He uses all I of our scared. thumbnails. He puts them in his. Yeah, he I, or not thumbnails. Yeah. Our, our logos and our and our thumbnails and, and his. And... Drawing your own stuff is hard. Right. I can't do it. <laughs> right. That's right. why I pay. That's why I pay Kichiki to do it. All right. It's there we go. Hysterical. Is a lie. PC gamers rarely bother with 4K. With oh wait, is it a lie or is it rare? Yeah, that's that's uh, <laughs> right. When I, exactly. when I watched it, if, if it was a lie, then they it's... never would bother with. 4K. Choose one. It's a lie. Like, we rarely do it because we just don't care. Oh, it's also yeah. a weasel word as well. Rarely. What does that rarely. mean? I'll say I. Well, rarely does that? not mean never, which is what he implied just two seconds earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like I would I would never be so I would I would just never have the attitude to assume people are lying to me when they tell me their specs. People tell me their specs all the time and I would never go, You're lying. Mm. By the way, this is something that I've noticed in internet culture anyway, that many people will jump to conclusion about other people's intentions all the time, which is something I, I hate to do and just simply do not do. I don't I don't care actually if somebody is lying to me, is disingenuous or has the, has a misunderstanding of reality or is just uh, unknowledgeable. I just deal with what they are saying. I don't care why they are saying it. For me, for the purposes of my channel or for the purposes of understanding and giving a reply back, I only care about what has been said. Is it factual or not? Uh, what does it just change people... if, you, if you accuse somebody of lying or being being uh, disingenuous? It does not change anything. It doesn't change the argument. It doesn't change how I deal with that person. It makes no difference in the in, in, in a debate. 
I usually just give people the benefit of the doubt and assume that they're just dumb as opposed exactly. to malicious. That is, that is how I <laughs> yeah. approach it. I think they're stupid. Mm. It is far it's easier to explain uh... and it's far, far more likely than saying there's an elaborate structure of lies built around the argument. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's better to attribute to ignorance that, um... It's, Dan Malice. Uh, let's, yeah, it's blah, blah, blah. People yeah. aren't evil, they're just dumb. 1440p exactly. high refresh monitor, about $300. There is no justification to bother with 4K. He uh, says, well, well, no, that is just a well, yeah, because it looks better. It looks better when it's there when is you a justification, though. I want to play at 4K. That's a justification. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that is. I mean, that's yeah. the mindset of somebody who only has the hardware determined to them by somebody else. And when you think about it, 4K is is the upgradability resolution. I mean, you, you buy exactly. a 4K monitor, and from that point when 4K becomes a standard, which is way in the future, I'm sure, um, there you go. You're already ready. You have. All you gotta do is upgrade and the hardware. And I've played games on both, and it looks better in 4K. It doesn't even, like, uh, my, my monitor is 1440p, and I have played Metal Gear Solid. I normally play it at 4K now, and it looks better in 4K. Much better. It just, because it, it's capped at 60 anyway, might as well play it 4K. And it just, it looks better at 4K. So, if, I mean, I thought wanting your games to, okay, according to Colt Eastwood, wanting your games to look better is not a justification. So he's not going to be buying the X1, <laughs> Xbox One X by exactly. that project. He, he is uh, downplaying 4K in a video in which he is up playing 4K. Yeah. Right. But, you know, so, yeah. when, it, when it comes to... He's also Cold saying... Cold he's also saying that, you go ahead. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, that's fine. You, you go first. <laughs> well, he's also <laughs> saying that by that logic, if you don't have a 4K television, it's pointless to buy the Xbox One X. How many yeah. people own a, a 4K television? Probably not many. Nope. Yeah. And, if it, remember, and if they say, hey, Colt, if you say that you have a 4K television, you're lying. And, you know, oh, when, eat it. When, when, eat did, it. when do we stop bringing... <laughs> <laughs> when, when was it that we stopped caring about games when it came to buying a system? What, when did that change? Seriously, all of In a the sudden, last like, half we generation, don't of course. care. It's like, hey, look, no, it doesn't matter. Look at the specs that you guys are always talking about. Look at them, look at them. No, what about the games? <laughs> yeah, what about the games? Like, this is, yeah, it is the fascinating. Games? None of these look dudes at me. are talking I'm the console about the games now. that they have. <laughs> right. None of Here's these the dudes are talking about the games that they're going to be able to play on this system. Exactly. And like even at the uh, even at the announcement of the Xbox One X, it was multi-plat, multi-plat, right. multi-plat, right. multi They have no exclusive games on the Xbox One, and for as long as there are no exclusive games, I have no reason to buy one. Everything I even, want, I can get on my even computer. Even in, uh, in November, when it finally comes out, I would still rather play PS4 because the exclusives sound better. They just seem yeah, better. Yeah, PS4. I would, buy I, mean, a Switch. I would buy a Switch before I'm Xbox. I'm buying a Switch next week because there are games that I want to play on it. Are there? Are there now? Yeah. Because yeah, I Splatoon consider getting too. a Switch, I but I thought, Splatoon nah, this looks like a wasteland. I want to play Splatoon 2, and that comes out next week. All right, so what is there? There's a Zelda game? There's uh, Splatoon 2? There's Zelda, um, Splatoon 2, that Mario Rabbids crossover that's basically XCOM Mario, which actually looks a lot better than I thought it Mario? I'm intrigued. Well, it's, it's like, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a Mario and Rabbids crossover, but it's like a turn-based strategy game where you oh. position yourself and shoot at rabbits and stuff. It zap, actually zap, looks zap. better than I thought. <laughs> and plus, Mario Odyssey, for me, was that was the seller. It was, as soon as they showed that off, I basically mm. was going to buy the Switch. There are also it's... little ones like ARMS and stuff, too, coming out. Yeah, exactly. And if you didn't own a Wii U, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is a pretty good value proposition. I'm not going to buy it, because well, I already own everything. Well, there you go. Cold East would just convince me to buy a Switch. <laughs> well, dude, it's like, the thing with Nintendo, nice. and this uh, this is why I've always... We use Cold Eastwood's video to convince somebody <laughs> to buy a Switch. This Thanks, is Cole. the reason why, though, I'm, I'm always more lenient towards Nintendo, because while they do a lot of really dumb things, when it comes to the actual games, they're still really good at it. Yes, yeah, I also they always like the, the um, light-heartedness of yes. Nintendo. You know, and 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 there's that example that just proves that this one's capable of of our uh, 60 FPS. The Nintendo Switch is a tablet, and yet several of the games releasing on it run at 60 FPS and 1080p. Like, what? think of all the SNES because, yeah, games nobody that cares about fucking FPS, graphics uh, that are photorealistic. FPS. No, art style is infinitely more important than just photorealistic graphics. You know, Absolutely. art styles last forever. That's true. Yeah, you because you could go back to any Mario game on the on, the, on, the, on the, handhelds and they still look good. Because you know, Super Mario World has a great aesthetic, even it does. years after released. Everything from Pikmin to Super Smash Bros. just has this sort of look to it.
But yeah. also, I mean, um, it's also I'm... so cheery. I love the cheeriness. Oh of god, yeah, yes. it's yes. very, yeah. it's very uplifting. You know, there are very so many few games that make games. me actually yeah. happy yeah. about things. Just the other day, <laughs> yeah. I, I loaded up the Dolphin emulator and I was playing uh, Wind Waker. I, what an amazing like it held up so well. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, but uh, the I ones guess on the DS are good looking too. Yeah. yeah. The, the thing with Nintendo is they just know how to make good games, and I think I'm getting really happy that they're starting to embrace some of their older design choices because the 3D Mario games have been linear for a while, and Super Mario Odyssey is like the first sort of more open Mario game since Sunshine, which came out in 2002, uh, which I'm happy to see. Because it's it's we don't get a lot of triple A platformers anymore. Well, triple A, sorry, we don't get a lot of major platformers anymore. Yeah. Uh, also, we we so, had something in the chat that I found interesting. Uh, Jonathan said, "Up to date graphics age terribly over time." I think it's also a good uh, that's point very against point. Yeah. AAA graphics yeah. because it's always it, it lo always looks awesome the first year it is released, but then as time moves on, mm -hmm. graphics age, and comic graphics usually stay palatable. Whereas ultra-realistic graphics just look silly after a certain point, and that makes me want to not play these games again. Whereas uh, yeah. graphics that have stylistically uh, unique styles, and maybe only use, I don't know, 256 uh, colors even, I can replay them again and again. I mean, just look at, yeah. look at Okami wise. on the PlayStation 2. Yeah. Look at Okami. I mean, that and game still looks awesome. And, and I think we can see this as well in the fact that there are so many 8-bit uh, and 16-bit inspired art styles in a lot of indie games. Like, I was playing a game forever. called Flint Hook, and it looks great uh, because it just has a really unique style. The style sticks out a lot more than just, her, her, derp, that car looks pretty derp. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, go yes. back and play the original Resident Evil 4. I'll instance. tell you what, even today, go jump on GTA 5. You will notice, I mean, when that game first came out, that's what I'm everybody was saying, it, yeah. was, oh my god, this game looks to like the most realistic game I've ever played in my life. And you look at it now, and you see where the flaws are. Yeah. Remember the movie Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I remember go that. Back and watch, go back and watch that. Exactly. I that actually tried that two or well. three months ago. I couldn't. I really couldn't. It was, no. <laughs> it's not a good movie. <laughs> no, that, right, that neither, go, neither uh, is, no, that's true too. He's yeah. got a let's cheap progress. gigabyte big, uh, uh, motherboard here. He just he just yes, found but, but just you just wait until, you, until he puts out the two hundred dollar Blu-ray player. Okay, all right. Awesome. Oh. In order to game at four K, which hasn't been feasible recently, unless what? feasible, you can do it. You can do it. I do, I it. do it. He's even just <laughs> now pr promising, or rather, he's right now demonstrating that it is feasible, whilst he's I saying mean, it's not feasible. Yeah, yeah, so. I mean, you can just bump down the graphical quality, and you can play it 4K. I don't think they understand. Like, do they not get that? Like, They don't games. understand how video game development works. That's on... something that they demonstrate. Right, you know the answer to that question times. is always, no, they don't. On GTA alone, <laughs> yeah, GTA no, 5, know. I can set the settings all the way up, okay? 4K all the way up, except for MSAA. Guess what frame rate I'll get, Colt? 30. 30 <laughs> FPS. I will get 30 on GTA Max. But, uh, you 4K. know, if, theoretically, you could get 30 FPS on like an N64 if it had the right components. Right. If it had like the, <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's it has nothing to do with how powerful the system is. It has to do with the mentality of developers exactly. and whether they think it's important to push for something that affects the gameplay, or if they're more concerned about how many pixels are on the screen. Well, there's all and, yeah, you're yeah, you've been convinced that's by developers that what they give you is the most important thing and that your ability to choose what's most important isn't it shouldn't even be taken into consideration a lot of it is people getting hoodwinked into this notion that for some reason a new console actually affects whether or not the game's going to be better because you always hear yeah. developers say oh we got so much more power now yeah, yeah. we're going to really be able to push it and, and yet they're doing things that any game on previous gen systems could yeah. do. and then they're like destiny yes. 2 will be 30 fps yeah there used to be a time when each new console would bring with it new innovations to the, how the game would actually be designed you know the jump from from uh the snes uh to like the n64 and, and the playstation fundamentally changed how video game development went forward because now you could work in 3d and then when they moved into the ps2 they could start pushing up to 60 fps more enemies on screen and they even did that with the 360 but with this one 
Is there anything that any of these games are doing that couldn't really be done by an I would say the system? opposite is the case. As, as technology on consoles advances, the games become dumber and less complex. And no, less, uh, yeah. I, 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 I can see what you mean, but I think what I was getting at was that there was more that they were able to do in terms of games themselves that they couldn't do before. You know, there, there were things... Much of the uh, possibilities. Yeah, that, but, yeah. What, but it's more that they had the hardware and they utilized it to actually enhance the game. They're like, well, we've got a more powerful console, let's push for 60 FPS. And there's heaps of games yeah. on the PS2 that run at 60 FPS. There's no excuse for, oh, the hardware's not good enough. Nope. So many games run at 60 FPS. Yeah, on you the just PS2. think resolution and graphics are more important. Well, you know what's crazy? Mm -hmm. They just they've they've been given this arbitrary decision, and they've been accustomed to it for so long that they think that it's the best way forward, and they don't mm -hmm. even think about it. What's Whatever crazy? the game is on the console is best. Cool. You um you can you can see that through the emulators themselves too. There mm -hmm. there are emulators that allow hacking in 60 FPS, and there are ones that just literally run the games naturally that way. The PlayStation 2 emulator runs most of their games naturally that way. Yeah, yeah. well, most most PS2 games did run at 60 FPS anyway, mm -hmm. um, which is, I just, and that's why I always find it fascinating that people always bring it up now as though it's, like, so difficult. It's not hard. You just need to bump down the graphics, and I'm cool with that. Yeah. All right. He also, right. Um, he yeah. also seems to have typed MOBA instead of MOBO. What an idiot. Well, a MOBA doesn't... Usually MOBAs are free-to-play, aren't they? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, sorry. Generally, on. Generally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see what else he's putting in this build, then. I'll, I'll just see myself. what else he puts in. All right, I'll take uh, control here. Unless spending 1000 to $1,500. Net? <laughs> network. He, he put in a network card, nice. is what we figured out. Oh, yeah, all right, okay. Cool. What's, what's the 4K BR? What, what's he talking about? Uh, we figured that out last time. 4K... Um, no, I forgot. Somebody in the chat last Four time told me what what, what happened. 4K BR? Well, I have Battle no rifle. idea what that is. Battle <laughs> yeah. rifle. Um, 4K... Uh, it, but it would base. be you much more helpful. No, Blu-ray player! That's what, that was the Blu-ray player! Blu That's oh, the Blu-ray player. What? Why, why do we need a 4K Blu-ray do I? For why $230! Would I spend... <sighs> Woo! Let me go to See, Amazon right now. Uh, it, it would be really helpful if we actually listed Blu what parts he was putting into this computer. So that we could look at them ourselves instead of just taking his word for it. 4K <laughs> Blu-ray player. Uh, 57, 194, 184, 98, 173, 69, 59, So it didn't need to be $200, did it? Well, yeah, maybe. It, is it 4K Blu-ray player that you're looking at? Well, look, and remember, and I don't have to go by true 4K because we've already established that oh, 4K yeah, can mean right. whatever you damn well want it to mean. So, <laughs> yep. um, so yeah, I can get... Um, yeah, here's... Da, 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 4K. Yeah, here, here's one for 70 bucks. Here's one for 60 bucks. Yep. So I don't know where he's getting 227. I guess he picked the price that made his argument look best. Rookie move, Colt. This is why you're a small channel. That's, that's pretty much. bad. Mm. All right, keep, that's keep going. Pretty, I want to see a spec list. I want to see a spec list. Yeah. 4K power comes from a couple of mainstream. Also, What's, 88 dollars oh, oh, for the operating <laughs> system. <laughs> <laughs> 88 bucks for an operating system. <laughs> 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 uh, so he got 1,006 dollars for a. 1080p 60? No, no, no. It's, it's a four, that's a safe computer he built to showcase what it will cost to get a 4K experience right, on a PC. So so that is 4K PC. Is cut out the 4K Blu-ray player and that drops it down to like Yeah, let's remove the, the Blu-ray player, let's remove the network card, let's remove the OS or put it to $20 or so, and woo, we got $600 to $700. Yay! Can, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's yeah. take that. <laughs> let's say, let's take off 50 for the operating system. Let's say you, you, just, you bought a legit copy for you know, 30 bucks, 40 bucks or so. Yeah. Uh, let's take off 227. <laughs> <laughs> let's take off 13 for the net. PSUs, all right. GPU, fair enough. The rest RAM, okay. 60, okay. Hard drive. Let's take off 48 for the hard drive. No, not the hard drive. No. Um, uh, let's see. That, uh, that should Let be fine. Let me see. Mo That's yeah, probably so fine, that, yeah. Yeah, that takes about 300 off the price. Yep. So it's 700. But so, you didn't yeah. include peripherals. Yeah, neither did you. Fuck KTV, either. All right, can you, uh, is double, that his full key. spec list, though, or is there more? No, that's it. Like the. Okay. Well, this is what I mean. This stupid idea that, like, oh, a GTX 1060, that's a 1080p card. It's whatever card you want it to be. Yeah, right. it's like these aren't these aren't cards that you have to. I mean, it doesn't lock it down. 
I mean, you can get you can get it. Why can't you use a 1070? 1070 is a great 1080p card because you can get really good frames with it. Well, it's that's not how it works. It's not that's not how yeah, it works. It's not like yes. yeah. It's not like you buy a GPU and it's locked to a certain resolution. Well, again, console gamers are used to feature locked systems, so yeah. <laughs> I, guess, <laughs> I, I guess they are. I guess in his mind, if you buy a 1060, then you're playing at 1080p, which would be and an that's upgrade for him. Gonna get. Add, but. RX 580 and oh god no! <laughs> Barry's oh, getting triggered. <laughs> god no! Look, oh my god, Colt, dude, look. Okay, I build computers every day. This is retarded. 8 1080p for a 1060. Oh, when Barry says retarded, Colt, you're in trouble. 1440p oh, for a 1070 shit. and 2160. That's like for a swear word. <laughs> Oh. That's like Barry's equivalent of nigger. Oh my god. <laughs> I said the R word. Oh no. I'm just saying. Did Barry say the R word. There have been sweet, customers. Sweet Barry. There have been customers who will come in and ask us what card they should get, the cheapest card they should get. And we sometimes will say, what, what resolution? They'll say, I don't know, 1440p? You can get a 1050 for God's sake. You don't need this. What is your what is your budget? Tell us your budget and what you want to do. That's all we need. This is yeah, like, what? retarded. That's it's what actually I asked a retarded. friend of mine at work. <laughs> I had a friend of mine at work who plays. He basically only plays like WoW, for instance. And he asked, you know, I'm looking at it because him and his wife, he, they're huge into like World of Warcraft and stuff like that. I said, like, you know, you just get a 1050 Ti. Just pop it in whatever you've got. Right. Although the 1070 can get the job done in a lot no, of games. No, actually in all games. No, no, okay. <laughs> I, hate, I hate when people use things like get the job done. Uh, yes, what they will do you play mean? the game, correct. Right, correct. Right. Yeah, right. like what do you mean by get the job done? Don't you, like what resolution frame rate set? It's like, what? All I ever figured with get the job done, if we're actually going to give it a meaning, is it plays the game at the quality that I'm happy with. Yes. Right. That and is, if you uh, play on consoles, same that definition. is not high. Yeah. No. And, that, and that could be well, wow, yeah, with consoles not high. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, a very low bar. Yeah. X580 and the GTX 1080. Although the 1070 can get the job done in a lot of games. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. So yeah, it's it just a 1440p yeah. card. On all though, yeah. it's just it's the 1440p card with the 1070. <laughs> it can just get the job done on a lot of games, yeah. whatever that means. Yeah, but, you 1070. Know, <laughs> yeah, I guess. In real 1070, good console games, you can't play with 1070. It's just no, no, you can't do that. Can't. I get started on the numbers in the Steam survey. Let's remember that this is only a small amount of PC gamers who chose to do the survey, but it yeah, that's actually a survey. reflects the rest of the PC gamers. No. Exactly. No, it, it does no, not. It, 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 no, a survey literally only reflects the people who took the survey. Exactly. What are you talking about? Nobody, the only nobody way represents that anything other than themselves. The only way that a survey could reflect all PC gamers is if everybody participated in it. And even the survey yes. itself doesn't represent perfectly the person who filled it out. Because again, no. there's some things the survey do doesn't And it's autofill. Yeah, it automatically it, it, fills yeah. out it what it wants It basically gives you the, the, the average PC gamer, and the average PC gamer is probably the PC gamer that doesn't even exist, like like all surveys do, who try to come up with, with a certain percentage, try to yeah. divide people by, by subclasses, stuff like that. Yeah, and that's why it's not bad yeah. to use aggregate we're performance. A, we're talking about a very broad um, sort of play, player base as well, people who yeah. play a whole bunch of different games on a whole bunch of different systems. But, Creating an average doesn't really work. The, the thing that bothers me yeah, the most is that, you want in that this survey is is important. It's got a lot of good information in there for yep, us to utilize, absolutely. and he's not mm -hmm. utilizing it the way it should be. Like, taking... yeah, like the last team survey that exactly. they blew up. About. Yeah, like uh, Stone Fox, Mr. Oh, these PC gamers aren't even playing at 1080p. Look at me, I'm so smart. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> look look at me, I just discovered the cheat codes in Fallout 3. Look, I'm cheating. No, cheating they get, Master Race! They get so excited. <laughs> Oh they do. Cheat codes because I chose to cheat. I've never seen a more toxic fan base than that of Stone Fox Media. After I did my two videos on him, holy shit, they, they descended like locusts on me. Caught me everything from being literal <laughs> Satan to to being the worst person ever that should be castrated. And I've never and it went on for years, literal years. Yeah, wow. two years later, you get comments on the Fo Stone Fox videos like you fucking faggot. He was a soldier. Well, I was too. <laughs> okay, that's. What, what yeah. has that got any relevance with anything? Like I have no idea, but hey, they, they, this guy had a they different are very toxic fan base. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I like to think my fan base is fairly well behaved. 
mostly they just they just want to fuck me harder, Daddy. But some of these some of these fan bases with everything from crap gamer to all these guys, they're very toxic. Mm -hmm. They also very, say, very I mean, nasty. they attract people who are not necessarily very smart. I mean, I mean look oh, at yeah, no, yeah, isn't that interesting? <laughs> <laughs> who would have thought, right? No, like you go in there and you're like, hang on, wait. Um, wh which parts of this sentence was English? I need to skip to that part, please. It, it, it is true, though, isn't it? These people rarely use proper English sentences, and I always hate to say that as a non-native speaker. But in the mo the moment that I can speak your language better than you and can express myself better in writing than you, you have a problem. Right. I have a and... very low tolerance for people with poor grammar and just general yeah. lit. Um, literacy when it comes to it, like it, it's not hard to co convey what you mean especially if you are a natural english speaker exactly and yet, so many but of these yeah but look, look through so this channel in the next gen 720 for example if you go through the comment section i don't know what half of these comments mean i, I, yeah, I, I know it's i, I yeah. always get annoyed when people deliberately mm -hmm. write incorrectly as well like people who say yeah. i write all in lowercase because i find it funny D no, yeah. learn to write. <laughs> so, yeah. that, that says more about your standards of humor than your standards mm -hmm. of grammar, maybe. Definitely. Well, yes. yeah, I, I, and it's not even, it's it's kind of like Creationist Cat, the way that he writes everything. Oh I have my no idea God. what the hell he's oh, saying. Fuck. The cring he is the cringiest person on the internet. I like Vadim, him. You are, the, you are the cringiest person on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I to God, I want to shoot very much myself every I kind time of, I, I, I kind of enjoy his videos, but sometimes, like, it's very difficult for me to understand what he's saying on Twitter, because I can't uh, read it. Uh, anyway, here we go. Yeah. According to the Steam survey, out of 125 million PC gamers on Steam... Ooh, uh, hold, no, on. No, hold on! No, hold on! No, what? Xbox people what? Took the survey. Wait, Xbox uh, X is 4K? When was this established? Yeah, um... <laughs> No. Also, uh, but, but this will be clear later. He only uses uh, the numbers provided on the Steam survey for single monitor systems, not for multiple monitor this systems. Is also so. Exactly. This is also a false equivalency. He's comparing monitors to a console. Exactly. <laughs> like, what do they, yeah, no, seriously. Like, but 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 get this. He's not gonna yeah. have um, any <clears throat> statistic. I, I I want someone to do the same twisted logic he's using, and when the Xbox One X comes out, and be like, <laughs> how many people actually have a 4K TV, Colt? Are we gonna compare our PCs to their monitors? <laughs> yeah, seriously, let's do that. Like, let's, let's, let's compare an IMAX theater screen. <laughs> Good idea. It's yeah. like, oh, it shits on your, your console, so yeah. now what? I guess that sucks for you. But, and in, in, yeah, and remember, it's very important to note that for those of you who weren't around when we talked a lot about the first survey that kind of blew up that talked about resolution, the way that the Steam survey works is that the it there there is entirely different sections regarding multiple monitor supports mm -hmm. and every every subclassification of laptop monitor setting, and it does not take into account whether or not you play upscaled. It, yeah, no, I remember because I did a video on that, which I yeah. can now basically just throw at anybody who ever says this. Exactly. It it's also like doesn't take into account whether you lesson. split your, your game over two monitors, for example, or three monitors. Exactly. So, Multiple yeah. monitors yeah. don't, they're in a different group, and you have to add those things all up. Also, it's important to consider these percentages with, with like, k keeping in mind how many people play on the PC, are, play on Steam. Like, if we yeah. are going to extrapolate these numbers up, yeah. One percent of 125 million is a million mm. people. Yeah. How many people yeah. on console are playing 4K? Right now. Uh, well, yeah. right now, none. <laughs> so, what's... Okay, so, all right, well, next video, then. We considered this video done after 10 seconds, didn't we? Because after he said, well, PC gamers can choose what they play on. Okay, thanks, yeah. bye! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Let me see. Let me, let me look at this real quick. Um... Da, 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 da. Okay, mm -hmm. never mind. All right, here we go. Only 0.86% of PC gamers are gaming at 4K. Most on of a them. single monitor. Yeah, on a yeah. single monitor and by choice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, because I remember, I my my monitor would not fall in this category. However, I play. I've played more 4K than any console gamer ever. So. <laughs> that's true now let's compare yeah. that to the percentage of pc gamers gaming at 1080p 61 million gamers oh no Only how bad or something <laughs> so that's so remember that's so if we go back here so 48 points 0.8 percent 
of that number. Okay, and remember, doesn't yeah. include multi-monitor support, does not include laptops, and does not include any level of upscaling. Right? Yep. Now let's compare the gamers gaming at 1080p. 60. I like the music in the back. It's, yeah, very, it's very good. Newsroom like. It's very, very tense. Serious. I'm sneaking into the enemy base, and there's mm -hmm. yeah, one nice. million games. He's he's playing a third person. Never. <laughs> or 3.5 million PC gamers are gaming at 1440p, or otherwise known as 2K. Why? Okay, stop. Hang on. Because they can. Okay, and so <laughs> does I don't know if this is I don't know if this is something that the the um, Steam survey calculates, but what about other aspect ratios like 16 by 10 so people with widescreen monitors what about I'm, I'm gonna that? look up the steam survey so that I can uh, okay cool here yeah. use the use it. the link that he provided in the description yeah that'd be great right. survey uh, I'm just looking at it right now June 2017 oh, okay. yeah, yeah yeah uh let's see if I can find the um the aspect oh, ratios hold on yeah I'm, I'm just looking for the uh the the one with the resolution um uh, let me see if I can find it uh huh. Uh wait, hold on. Hold on. Uh, uh okay, so this is what I'm looking at right now. The primary display resolution was uh 1080p, but multi monitor desktop resolution was 3840 by 1080p. Exactly. And uh well th that that's the whole problem and we're not gonna be able to discuss much about this video of this and, because it just know, doesn't include uh fifty percent of the survey. Basically. I'm just gonna I'm gonna basically read through the major the, the major ones I'm looking at for primary. <laughs> so okay, okay, twenty per twenty percent are still playing on laptop resolution, thirteen sixty six by seven six eight. Uh you got about four percent on nine hundred P. But that's 40, uh, 1440 by 900, 5% on 1600. I bet a lot uh, of I, I bet a lot of the 900 P's are laptops too. Laptops too, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. I bet. Then somebody says your screen crashed, Barry. Um, that uh, might not be true. Uh, <laughs> if an, uh, anyone uh, who tells uh, you that the stream uh, crashed is lying, I think okay. that other dude's back in the uh, in the room. It's Brandy fine. Hawk. He said uh, he just said because it's still available for him. Hi. Uh, all right. No worries. Mm, okay. Um, and then, yeah, then you got 2.19% on 1440p, and then 3840 by 2160, yeah, 0.86%. But th this is the issue again. When you look at the multi-monitor, that kind of changes it a lot. And okay, all there's right, hold no up. way of knowing what the... All right. Barry, you, you're the one showing the link, says our troll. Um, someone, Zewia in chat said 2K is actually another name of 1080p. It is. Yeah, because if you, if you look at... Uh... 1920 you can stretch it out yeah 19 1920 is uh is 2000 pretty much yeah but i, th right. I assume we mean in the um regular aspect ratio but hello mr lmg um into the chat though i always want to call him out he gave me oh a, that's right yeah he, yeah he gave me some stuff today hello mr lmg good to see you good uh, to see you here's something though that i just noticed while looking at it um i'm looking for the ones where the the vertical is 2160p and if you start adding those together, you, you kind of get a bigger number, because yeah, it's just like last time, you have to add in all the numbers. Yeah, you know, get, you, got... you can't just look at the exactly 1920 by 1080 and be like, oh, okay, that's how many people there are. Yeah, you have to add in all the other variants of it. Too. I lost the plot a little bit. And it's also worth keeping in mind growth as well, because the the Steam survey tracks growth. Yes. And at, you, even though it's small at the minute, you can see that the higher resolutions are going up. I so, also remember two two years ago, uh, they, they tried to pull off a similar stunt with using the Steam survey as some strange argument against the PC. And back then they used the argument that uh, all, over 50% were still playing on dual cores rather than quad cores, as if that would prove anything. Oh, and wow. that has changed dramatically since then as well. And yeah, yeah. the only thing that this shows is that computer gaming is evolving whilst console gaming is stagnant for years. Seriously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let's continue with this video then. All yeah, right, let me click this here. Why are over half of all PC gamers playing at 1080p or lower? I feel like it. Well, a lot of they gaming laptops want to, have yeah. slightly smaller than 1920 by 1080p screens. And the rest just don't have gaming dedicated setup. Uh, what? <laughs> how do you know? Not, how do you know? <laughs> how do you... How, do you, how can you possibly make yeah. that... You heard it here what? first. If you're not playing what? at higher than 1080p resolutions, you don't have a fucking gaming rig. There you go. Bye-bye. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. QED. Wow, that's Checkmate very presumptuous. Atheists. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, I don't know. Okay, sure, fine, whatever. Yeah, I totally do. <laughs> this means that there are roughly 4 million hardcore PC gamers. What? what? So that's there what determines... What? So that's what... So it's the hardware that you have that determines... I, no, it's not, not even the games the you play. It's it's literally what aspect the resolution. The resolution. Yeah, it's the resolution yeah. that you play at. Resolu resolution <laughs> is what determines whether or not you're a hardcore gamer. There not the games only, you play, not how I often mean, you play, not how social he, you are while playing. No, can he it's, really said that though as well. Yes, yeah, he did. I, thinks first time I watched this video, million. had a lot of fun with that. <laughs> what? Come on. It ta it takes a console that introduces 4K gaming to for you to be considered a hardcore gamer, which means that so far, not a single console gamer or PC gamer, because all PC gamers are lying about 4K, as we exactly. established earlier, That's right. is a hardcore gamer. There's none. The no. Xbox One X will introduce hardcore gamers to the industry the first time. <laughs> and, and how is... Okay, so again, I know he's taking the, the 25... Uh, or no, 250? What, what was the... How many people, PC gamers are there, did he say? Uh, 125 million. million. 20, 25 million? 125. 125 million, that's right. Okay, so he's taking this survey and applying it to all PC gamers, all uh, Steam users, not PC gamers, Steam users, um, and saying that 4 million of them, as though that's a small number, are only <laughs> the hardcore gamers, whereas the rest of them don't yes. matter and are the filthy liars. However, the ones who are playing at 4K who do have those <laughs> systems are still liars because even they're not playing at 4K regardless of well, the because they're lying to you. Peasant, if they tell you logic. They are. <laughs> like imagine imagine making this video and being like, yeah, there are this many millions of people who play at 4K, but if they tell it to you they're lying. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what? And you're not they're hardcore. Like you're not a hardcore gamer if you game at the most popular resolution anyway. And the only way to become a hardcore gamer is to buy the Xbox One X. There you go. But now we. Bam. But now, for future reference, this is very important that we have pegged down the definition of a hardcore gamer. Yes. It's very, very important. So nobody on an Xbox is a hardcore gamer. No. No. Nobody on a. Well, there's a few on PlayStation who are a hardcore gamer. A few. But yeah. A few, not very many. few, no very many. few. Yeah, no many. None on the if you're Switch. playing, if you play Nintendo's, you're not a hardcore gamer. No. You can't play. You can't be a hardcore gamer on a laptop. No. Um, no. There's 3.5 million hardcore gamers who are all liars and are not really hardcore gamers. Exactly. So in the end, he does say that there is no hardcore there gamer no hardcore except for those on, on the PS4 PC. because he didn't say that the people on the PS4 are, are lying. So because the only hardcore gamers actually right now are the few people on the PS4 who are playing in 4K. So there you go. Right on. Hey, cool. And it's finally established it. I mean, so if you're so if you're not playing, did you just at, make a, a point for the PS4? By the way, now here's the problem. <laughs> here's here's the biggest problem I see because to me, a hardcore gamer is not someone who spent tons of money on their rig or no. has the highest resolution. It, it depends on the games you play and how hey, how hey, guys, hey, I think look, for me, it's, it's just how guys, how serious do you take this hobby? Is it an yeah. important hobby for you? Do you spend a lot of your time? Uh, indulging in that hobby, that is a hardcore gamer. It doesn't matter the game that is played, on, on which machine, whatever. A hardcore gamer is somebody who spends a lot of time playing games. I like that. I, would I like that. Yeah, yeah I figured yeah. that's always what it was. Yeah. Yeah, but so so the definition is you're only hardcore if you're 4K? Yes. Okay. You're only, you're only hardcore, hardcore if gamer. you're above 1080p. Uh, yes, yes, that's okay. right. Only hardcore if you're yeah. above 1080p. And since everybody okay. is lying about that, they don't exist. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Barry. You know that the link is on your it's, it's not, stream, right? It's not. It's not. I just deleted. How many? How many people are in the stream right now? Um. And how many people, how many people are, are on the watch streaming? together? How many people are on the watch together? <laughs> it looks now like take that number. It looks and take like... how many how many of us there are. <laughs> it looks like they're <laughs> all those two numbers me are not too. <laughs> <laughs> but well, I'm just glad uh, I didn't. Well, as long that. as as long as they behave, fair enough. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's go ahead let's and get now. Going. With hardware capable of hitting 2K and above graphics on big AAA games, by the well, that's kind of that's kind of open. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, uh, capable of hitting, and that's another thing: uh, capable uh, of hitting or choosing not to hit. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing that yeah. right, and that's actually that, something that, that, that you the Steam into. survey doesn't calculate, if I'm correct. Yeah. What you're actually playing at, right? Yes, it just takes the desktop just resolution. Takes the, it, Exactly. Yeah, the resolution of your exactly. monitor, not what you're actually playing at. Yeah. So, again, like, like, I would skew the results by this, by by his logic, because I play at 4K, well, and I right. do play some games at 4K. But well, you also don't like yeah. yeah, yeah, never mind, doesn't matter anyway. Yeah.
Mm. Right. But then I play mostly at, at 1440p, even with my 4K monitor. So, I mean, it's the... You know. So you're doing the opposite as me. So right. you're actually... I mean, you're skewing the numbers down, I'm skewing them up, but they yeah. don't count. No. They don't count anyway, exactly. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. That's what, yes. We'll, we'll bring, we, bring, bring, we, bring we, we, we're draining our brain, brain cells. <laughs> oh, okay. Bring, yeah, he's back. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. There will be more than 10 million PS4 Pros and Xbox One Xs. In How do you get that number of Xbox Wait, One Wait, hang on, hang on. The music is getting really intense. I want to hear what it is. Nah, he, it is. He, said, <laughs> he said that there were 10 million <laughs> PS4 Pros. Okay, I, I just want to get this there all together. There will be more than 10 million PS4 Pros and Xbox oh, One nah, Xs. Oh, nah, 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 nah. How can he know that? How, no, how do you know that? He he how do you know how, how many people will buy that? That's why. He has no There's idea. no way they can know. See, no. and there's, here's, there's here's no way. Here's my logic on this. As as my friend who's a console gamer, mostly console gamer only, he would not spend another five hundred dollars on the same exact console. He would not do no, it. No, I would I would say that most people won't and I if hear that you do, often then, too. then you need to stop saying that PC gaming's too expensive. If right. you bought exactly. an Xbox One, an Xbox One S and an Xbox One S, that's over a thousand bucks. Yep. On the fucking Xbox on hardware one. upgrades. Uh -huh. On yeah, hardware exactly. upgrades. Yep. Remember, by the all way, the I Xbox did, I did one a research is, is a claim upgrade. about these 10 million Xboxes, and I wondered if there was maybe a statistic available that Microsoft released about uh, uh, pre-orders or something like that. And uh, no, no, completely. We, should, we, should, we should have had him in this stream because I have so many <laughs> questions. I want to know all this insider information where he's yeah. getting it from. Yeah, like he's he's but, got some really interesting, and it's not even it couldn't have been from Xbox either. This is like future stuff. Yes. Like, like why, version of Rags, why, is, like why is his channel, like, right. based around the console? I mean, if he knows the future, like, I want to know stuff, <laughs> you know? Why are you focusing yeah, on I know, this? Right? Yeah, I mean, he could have at least told us stuff. how many hardcore PC gamers there will be next year. Well, when is the next Super Bowl. coming out? Come on. Yeah. Uh, and, and, but the, one of the big things that's important here is that when you have, when, when they talk about upgrade, they constantly shit on PC for some reason because we have optional upgrade ability. What yeah. what's the Xbox One S and what is the Xbox One X? Mm -hmm. If you buy an Xbox One count. X, yeah. If you buy an Xbox One X and you have owned an Xbox One in the past, you are a huge hypocrite if you bashed yeah. PC for upgrading hardware. Oh, I'll be back in a minute, guys. Okay. Right. All right. Well, then the the another huge problem with that. I mean, that's already a ton of money to spend. I don't think I've ever spent that much money on uh, upgrades, uh, like yearly. And this is every two years. So this is like every two years a new console comes out. So uh, doing that and then paying for Xbox Live or PlayStation Plus, the, all the games yep. ne almost never go on sale unless you're getting them only digitally, which, you know, better. If yeah, you and know. right now, the console upgrade cycle, as in a new console comes out, is definitely faster than I upgrade my PC because oh, yeah. always, you, you update weekly or whatever. What in the world? I... Um, oh, yeah. Someone okay, put a then. link. Someone, yeah, someone fucked <laughs> yeah. up. All right. Nice. So, just starting. Um, well, then we're going to talk about something else in the video, right? Okay, no worries. Um, is there a way uh, But anyway, like, that's that's the, that's a usual argument that we have to upgrade every week. No, it's week. because you were showing the link and people got in. Because <sighs> you were sorry. showing the link. So just just start another one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and since since I, I don't have to upgrade every two years, truth be told. Um, I could if I wanted to, but I don't have to. So now, consoles have to be upgraded more often if they want to stay up to date. Checkmate, console gamers. It's just it's it's weird how as consoles try to try they try to become more and more and more like PCs. Indeed, it, it highlights just the ama amazing hypocrisy of the you know console fanboys. Yeah, it's only it's good when it's for us. It's bad when it's for you. When you did it, it's different than when we do it. And... Yes. Uh, has oh, someone swapped out the video? Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're I'm making yeah. a new one. Hang on. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, Barry was showing the link. It and was because... There are a couple of people got in, but most people I, would just be doing I don't recall doing it because I, I deleted the link, but somehow it, it, it shared. So here's... All right. All here's right. the new one. Here's the new one. <laughs> all right. Out. We'll go ahead and paste this link yep. in from Continued. Where we I have now on. learned from you guys how to remove a link without having to change my whole stream. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I just make sure that I've got an overlay that covers everything that I don't want people to see, like my tabs and stuff. Right, now there's a video of Creature Comforts, is that correct? Yeah, you got, you got yeah, a I think that's just the default. Alright, so, uh, all right. Right. now we're back. Sold. Excellent. And the 125 million. Right, nah, further back, I think.
Windows that are yeah for the, the other back. reason why here we go 2.8 percent are playing at right, ps4 just... pro resolutions and less than what is ps4 pro resolution again yeah i mean like this yeah. is what i mean it's, it's game. game by game it's not it's not by actual hardware itself it's but for each game why do i need to explain this mm. One percent at Xbox One X resolutions is that most PC gamers just don't have the hardware that far exceeds what that is in far the newest exceeds. Console. It has That's to far exceed. Very See, here's it ha yeah, here's it, the it can't thing. be similar or slightly better. It has to far no, no. exceed See, more. Because that's that's the other thing. Um, when you purchase a computer. Um, for about the same price as an Xbox, and you claim that it'll run about the same or or even better. No, no. What you have to do is you have to get at least double the power, because if you don't have at least double the power, the PC will not run the game. It won't. Yeah, this is this other like. Also, we know that the PC hardware magically degrades. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true too. So like after it after it degrades, and it, oh my god, someone sent me something <laughs> that said actually, Barry, um, PC hardware does degrade, but it's only like ten or fifteen FPS a year. I was like, what does that mean? That mean like, <laughs> what? <laughs> that's what? Like, like what? What? That makes <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm sorry, but that's not actually how that works. <laughs> oh. oh man. Also, this 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 screen right here is cancer. Oh yeah. Yes. This is absolute cancer. Um, tell when I tell first, me, okay, sorry. Xbox X, Xbox One X, tell me more about the CPU and how it affects the rest of your system. Tell me more, Xbox One X. I, I would like mind. it, though, if, like, an Xbox dude could explain what each of the components does. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I have no idea. What I also find amazing about this particular video is that his whole argument is, okay, uh, PC gamers have this kind of computer, don't have this kind of computer, can do that or can't do that. In the end, he doesn't make a point, though. What is the point of showing us this? Does that mean <laughs> that... Uh, can, does anybody of you know what his point is by pointing this out? I mean, let's say he's correct about everything that he says. What is the conclusion of that? Well, the thing is, I mean, he's... Um, he's... Well, it, you can't even say everything he says is correct because he's contradictory. He, that's but... no, he, he, everything he says is false, that's the thing. But let's say, even if it was correct, what would be the point? What would be the statement that he's making here? Uh... That probably he's trying to make the point that when PC guys... He, well, here's what he's... He's trying to give people the argument. That when someone who plays on PC tells you that they have a PC stronger than the Xbox One X, Deadline. the rebuttal to that is, no, you don't. Okay. <laughs> because the average PC user, because anything yes. above the average literally doesn't exist. Right. And if they tell uh, you I, I get it now. Well. Okay, yes. Because an average exists, nobody can have a better computer. Yeah, than like, you can't have a better computer than the Xbox One X. Here's this video that Colt Eastwood does, and he understands even less than I do. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you can see for yourself. Well, the thing is, that too, PC like... Gamers can do... When you're in a conversation with people, and at least for me, um, and this was when I first built my computer, people would say, um, well, my, my Xbox plays games better than your, your computer does, or my Xbox does better than most. And I was like, yeah, well, the thing is, you can have. I, I never have said, well, my computer's better, so deal with it. I say, well, you can, actually. It's it's just the way things, you know, and that's what I yeah. think his problem is, is when he hears someone say, well, you can, that's what upsets him. And he goes, well, it doesn't matter if you can, because you don't. Because the average, uh, the, 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 the <laughs> aggregate. <laughs> By the way, guys, I'm having a bit of a chat revolution here right now, telling me that uh, the PC hardware degradation exists. And I don't think that the people in chat understand what we're really talking about because no, uh, your FPS will not magically degrade over time. No. Uh, your hardware will not actually become slower over time. Yeah. At one point, your, your hardware, hardware will cease to function. Yes, yeah. hard degradation exists. At one point, every piece of hardware will break down, but will not decrease its performance. Not not any part of yeah. hardware that I know of. Because by that logic, then a console's performance exactly. would degrade as well because exactly. it also yes. has components. So, yeah, for yeah. some reason, a component that you put in your computer is fine, but the PS4's components won't just magically degrade as well. No, exactly. And remember, you have the huge advantage on PC of turning down your graphic settings as mm -hmm. years roll by. You also have the advantage of swapping out defective parts. If, if your Absolutely. console breaks, it's fucked. Well, right. Yeah, <laughs> remember, <laughs> you know. I had to go through three Xbox 360s. The last one I still have in my house, and it doesn't even turn on. Dude, so, if we're I... going to talk about I can't believe can... that though. How many people had to buy? I never would have bought another one if the yeah. console itself broke. Oh, I never yeah. would buy another one. That's the thing. I was just years and years ago when I was young, younger, uh, 
it was it just that was the mindset that you had when you're a console game your console breaks you buy another console oh that's mm -hmm. nah that's not for me because if that's insane. i mean my ps3 never broke because i didn't have a 360 but if it broke i'm, I'm sorry sorry the, the argument from the chat is now if your gpu suffers overheat it will slow down okay okay well yes but that's <laughs> true but that means that there's a problem with the gpu in the first yeah place. that's a defective part yeah. not not natural hardware degradation no. those are two completely How separate often topics does that actually happen um you wouldn't uh, believe it, it had oh, never oh, happened oh, to oh, me are but the console guys telling us about overheating components there, you... i mean i mean seriously the, the argument is hardware degrades over time no, it doesn't performance-wise. Simply said, sometimes components stop working. Then they stop working. Yes, yes. but if, if you just let a computer run over five years and never turn it off, and you keep running, keep uh, a benchmark running, it will not magically degrade over time. The metric no. will not become less. It yeah, what changes is, is the graphical yeah, power the, of yeah, the, the game. The hardware part becomes technology. dysfunctional, right. breaks. Stops Which, yeah, working. technology marches over, forward. Like, uh, overheating is definitely a hardware part not working anymore. Yeah. That, no, that it's not. It's not that the game that you bought five years ago will run worse five years later. It's no. that the games that release five yeah. years later exactly. won't run as well. Exactly. That's a good point. It's it's, it's not artificial, all, but it's not. Yes. Physical but it shouldn't either. even need to be explained. It's no. obvious. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, okay, because we get this all the time. You wouldn't believe how many GPUs come in to our work that just are dead from from the get go. It happens. Um, and, and how many we run because we run benchmarks for three days to make sure that the computer is fine. And, and how often that they'll just die out um, because there was some sort of, of fault in them. But when we ship them to the customer, we almost rarely get uh, the system sh sent back with a span of like five years, as far as I've heard, um, for parts breaking down. It's it's generally with a span of degradation that happens to your performance is probably going to be on you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. If it if it happens, it's either because it was a span of a couple weeks and the the part had a fault that we couldn't find, or it was years later and the part died. That's it. Mm -hmm. Now remember, my first uh, my first when I first bought a PS4, the the first unit that I got was dead on arrival. Oh, really? Dude, that's brand sucks. new out of the box. Yeah. So Yeesh. I they they exchanged it for another one. Yeah, and then I played it three hours, and that was that. But then I <laughs> went back to my PC. So hindsight's that's, twenty twenty. <laughs> there we go. That's that's right. happened to me. Just don't have the hardware. And I hate it. We just don't have the hardware. You just don't know that. Don't have the hardware. You literally don't know that. I've it been. Exceeds. I've been. It's like, every... where's your hardware, Colt? <laughs> Tell us I, about your hardware no, that you have right now, Colt. No, that's not it. That's not it. I've been in every single PC gamer's house. I know for a fact they don't have the hardware. That's it. And if they do, they're lying. Yep. <laughs> oh, well. Idiot. What is in the newest <laughs> consoles? Keep it. Newest consoles? <laughs> why is that? Why is that? Play? Is there something well, that we. I mean, the newest console is the Nintendo Switch, but, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know about this Xbox One gamers? X. I haven't seen it on the market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, not like, out as, yet. Yeah, it's like, this shit is not, it's not out. out. This isn't out. You can't have it. It might as well not exist. ...do so much more with their hardware than a console. But this is hardly grounds for bragging rights when compared... Okay. As someone who uses a PC every day, there is so much shit I do on my PC I could not do on a console. Yeah, yeah like... Like head. everything, basically. <laughs> like basically everything. Yeah. yeah. You got a YouTube channel, you pretty much need a computer. Oh, seriously? <laughs> yeah. What, are you gonna run your yeah. YouTube channel from your console? <laughs> oh, you run it from your phone, I guess. If you're, a, well, I mean, a, hey, hey, I feel so bad or... about people who t Twitch stream from their console. It always looks so fucking crap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, much yeah. more with their hardware than a console, but this is hardly grounds for bragging rights when comparing price to performance. Now, uh, I think I it is actually. It, I, I think, think that is. is. Bragging. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's I a bought huge a computer deal. for a thousand yeah. bucks when I first got it, and it did everything that I needed it to do, and then some. Yeah, every program that you could basically ever want to run ever, you have. Mm -hmm. Anything you ever decide you want to do in the future, you've got. You can get everything. And, plus, and I keep explaining this to people as well, you know, like, when you buy a PC, yeah. you're buying more than just a gaming hardware. You're buying something exactly. that you're going to use every day to go on the internet, write documents, make videos, edit stuff. Um, or whatever you want to do, whether it's drawing or things like that, there's so much that you're going to use your computer for. Right. Today, as of today, you can build a computer for the same price as you can buy a console on the market for the, the similar uh, similar console.
price yeah. price point. Yeah. You will most likely, if you're competent enough, build a computer that is more powerful, as well as you're getting those extra features you can't do. Mm -hmm. I mean, you see channel like you know JTech TV, for instance, who runs his channel basically from his PlayStation, and it shows. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it, you know, oh it, it shows. I use like let's put it this way: I use Movie Maker. Movie Maker, me. I use Movie Maker, and that wow. shit is better. Burn, burn than Rex. Consoles. Yeah, seriously. Are you are you serious? I'm one hundred percent serious. Pain in the ass, though, Rex. It's so easy to use. It's so easy and quick to use. That's why I keep using it because it does wow. everything I need it to do, and wow. it's so quick and easy. I mean, like, I won't, I won't dispute that argument. It's just I tried using Movie Maker. I find it far more complicated and and confusing than Adobe. I, oh, used, no, to no, use, I used to use Movie Maker. The old, not like. I think it was the old one, but then there was the Windows 7 one I found very confusing mm -hmm. by comparison to the XP version. Well, I I've only used the Windows 10 version. The Windows right. 10 version is the Windows 7 version, and it's 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 good. Uh, it the Windows XP version was very, very good. Yeah, so it was I've got, actually I've got right. whatever Interesting. Got. But I, yeah. I, it's so quick and easy for me. I can just like, boop, mm -hmm. boop, here, here. Go, uh, there, go, I guess there. It, there are a lot of things that I do, like, that I can't do on Movie Maker uh well or maybe you can i'm just not that familiar with it anymore um and like, people are people are saying haven't you heard of it yeah i've heard of them all right i've i've heard of them all of every other <laughs> one but i mean it, yeah. it works it does everything i need it to do but, but I, i'm also fun. set in my ways because i hate adobe premiere really because it fucks my 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 processing up every time it crashes on me it flags out it does not uh, import the correct files stuff like that but I tried so many others, and they all suck even more. So I guess that is indeed very person to person. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go, there you go. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. it's the, the utility of a PC is mm -hmm. such a huge advantage. To say that it doesn't matter is insane. Well, even just saying Absolutely. that with the conversation we like, just I'll had, be right back. The the fact okay. that we all have different preferences on what. Uh, recording and and video editing softwares that we use like i know rags you use shadow play like almost for everything um for yeah. me i i used to dx tori and obs for a little bit i and, use obs a lot yeah right so not only is that that we have this um this computer that lets gives us access to all these but then we get to pick what suits us the best as exactly well. Exactly. Uh, in fact, you just reminded me of that time when this IGN employee said, like, that you on console, or, uh, what was it? He said, on consoles, if you play really well and you want to record it, you can just say Xbox record it. And he said, that's something you can't do on PC, that you can't record your gameplay. What? Yeah, this was an IGN employee. I remember this because um, I think Blackbond made wait. a joke out of it. No, he, he must have meant that you can't just tell your computer to. No, nah, no, nah, he would, he was, he, I, no, nah, he meant, he was meaning that you couldn't, like, record your last what? 30 seconds or something of the game, but you can, that's, it's called Shadow that's almost Play. Almost, that's yeah, that's like almost all my, yeah, that's almost all my The PC feature. What, like, and he said that's something you can't do on PC, I remember this. So, wow. Sorry, that sounds fun. What can't you do on a PC? Um, you can't record it, it was, video. There was a guy oh. on IGN who said that, um, that, oh, I remember, know, I remember that, yes, yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> IGN, I don't know games, yes. I assume Colt Eastwood made this video, right, that we're watching here on a PC. I, oh, yeah. Well, very, I, very likely. He definitely had to. He had with to. All of the editing, the editing done. yeah. He, he does a pretty decent job with his editing. So, he he does mean, say uh, himself on Twitter that he games 99% of the time on his PC, so... Um, then why so there's make no this? excuse for him being so retarded. What? Yeah. Yeah. I would not so, have expected that. Yeah. yeah All stops I mean, obviously he's man. lying, though. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, if... if never mind. This is hardly go. grounds for bragging rights when comparing price to performance. Now, before I get into an all stops at 4K rant, let me remind you that my preference is at 1080p or 1440p Not a at 60 gamer. FPS. The GTX 1060 is the most popular GPU in gaming rigs that are running dun, dun, today's dun, dun, dun. AAA powerhouse games. Unfortunately, the 1060 is rated as a 1080p card. 
By who? Yeah. Who, yeah. By who? yeah. Who said that? Why? Who said that? Who's the authority yeah. that said the GTX 1060 is only a 1080? It wasn't card? Nvidia. Also, also, <laughs> just because something is the most popular, what does that mean? So the 1060 is the most popular. First off, there are three gigabyte, and six gigabyte versions, right? Also, what I, I don't see what the point is. Just because that card is the most popular, that just means that. There are other options people have chosen that but are better. But this is this whole video, Rex. This whole video is something, something popular, something, something less popular. <laughs> yep. I mean, quite literally. You know what I hate, too, is, is he went, well, 1080p and 1440p is my preference. I wouldn't play at 4K. It's like, wh why would you even <laughs> Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, I prefer, I prefer 1080p and 1440p Which at 60 also, FPS. Which means that he's now, not let me talk up the Xbox gamer. One X. He's yes, not a hardcore gamer. Yeah. If you only play at 1080p, you're not a hardcore. You have but to be above it. But the thing is, why would you say that? My preference <laughs> is, and then not c uh, attribute that to everybody else, and maybe think, well, you know what? Maybe yeah, because he's an honest 4K. person, and we all fucking dirty liars, Barry. <laughs> but nobody else can have preferences. No. Uh, what I will also, say about, about this guy is that he's the kind of person who makes a video where if you don't know anything and you j and you don't really think about what he says, he comes across oh, as yeah. actually kind of like cogent oh, and yeah. right. reasonable. But yeah, it, I'm sure you know, there are it's not some like crap game away. Well. You just know he's talking to shit. Like <laughs> with this, you actually need to pay attention to what he's saying to pick up on the things that he's saying it's like, that are wrong. My it's like, I don't want to say that he's being pururposefully disingenuous, but he does give that impression off. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you would expect. I, oh, yeah. I, I would like expect I better. I feel like he's smarter. Well, no, I, that's what this. I was gonna say. Yeah, he looks. Yes, I mean we all know that Nation Seven Twenty is genuinely retarded. He is not. He is. Yeah. But when you look at this here and you listen to what he said, he said, I like to play at 1080p, 1440p at 60 FPS. It's like, then why do you have any interest in an Xbox One X? Yeah. Then why do you give two flips? Why, why do you care about the Xbox One? If anything, you should, make, you should be making a pro PC video. Perhaps if you because care C2 about wants to become a hardcore gamer? <sighs> Maybe. God. He wants to <laughs> ascend to the level of playing on Xbox. Like, I don't know. It, it really hurts one's brain, doesn't it, when one starts uh, judging them by their own logic that they use in their videos like that's, uh, the, that's the key always yeah. use their own logic against yep. them and there's nothing they can do no. that's that's one of the key things when you argue yep. with people just listen to what they say these guys especially whenever you argue a pro console argument listen to what they say and you could use it against them it's mm -hmm. so simple it is rated it is. as a 1080p card that runs almost any game at 60 fps something the xbox one x and ps4 pro can't do right as and that's a big card, deal that's a huge deal. That's yeah. a big deal for and me. Again, That's a deal debunked. breaker. Right. Himself. <laughs> I think that's the third or fourth time he's debunked himself. Well, I mean, he's he, yeah. That's what he's doing. I don't know if I'm. I'm starting to wonder if this is a parody and he's not. <laughs> yeah. Because he, he you, says you get that vibe, don't you? Like he straight up says, um, people who go outside are living life better. Um, I prefer staying inside. It's it's nicer. <laughs> yeah. it, it's like wait a minute. He says it's contradictory. Wait a minute. It's like. Yeah. It's inverted logic. Like, I almost want... Can we... Can someone, like, message him on Twitter and see if we can get him in here? <laughs> like, I have to know. Like, we'll, we'll even turn the stream off. Like, I just want to know. Are you parroting yourself? Because you're not this dumb. I, I know you're not. I listen to the way you speak. You're scripting yourself. And the way you edit. You're intelligent. Why are you saying this? This is yeah, not... he's definitely put in more effort than most of the console fanboys do. Yeah, I, that's what makes you know, it so yeah. that's so much more crazy. It's, it's so baffling because yeah. you seem like a reasonable dude, and right. yet you're if saying so many to... unreasonable things. Like even these still images that he has here, right? Even these still images that he's got, they're they. It takes time to make this. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, it's, it's, I, like I this, appreciate the effort to... though. You yeah. have to get, like, TX for images like 1060. this, you have to get one image, two images, write the text, color the text, today's, and also and he needs to have games. cropped out the background, too. And that's three, so he's one, two, we're at, like, three images here. Yeah. So, oh, and he's he, even... I mean, that, that takes time. He's even yeah. faded the, the Xbox. You can see where he's mm -hmm. faded the Xbox. Yeah. Like, he's done some, and, some and work. Look at, the, uh, look at the way, the 1060, look at how the, the, uh, the, um... That the X is covered up by the bottom of yeah. the middle. No, right he's there. he's he's a lot better than uh, f many of these guys who don't even bother with an intro and they just start up. What what's what's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy. Insert now. Oh my fucking god! You just triggered me. Video. Whenever I hear this whole "it's your boy" shit, I instantly it's shut down boy. my fucking yeah, brain. Oh, it's so bad. It's your boy. It's just crap. <laughs>
It's like I have a lot of boys on YouTube, yeah. as I've come to find out. They all want many, of, many of them I've never met, and many of them I will never hopefully see again. <laughs> the 1060 is rated as a 1080p card that By runs me. almost any game at 60 <laughs> FPS. Something the Xbox One X and PS4 Pro can't do. As great as this card is, it does not compete with the Xbox One X. My nice stealth Colt. Digital Foundry could only get this card to. I would be ashamed to put this gameplay up. In oh video. yeah. <laughs> I mean, why did he not take cover? That's the whole sticking cover. So yeah. I was like, I, I, I try to put. I can't criticize. I try to put flatter. I, I, I try to put flattering footage in my videos. You know, because well, I'm don't not put gameplay in the video. You should at least get good gameplay. Yeah, but, I know, right? But, these rookie uh, and I like how he's also playing just shooting everybody. That's it's a stealth game. It's a stealth game. You really you really should really play it is, stealthy. Yeah. I, just, I it's just it's the, it doesn't have anything to do with the argument. I'm just saying, you know, it play it makes you look shit at video games. <laughs> to 4K with checkerboarding and overclocking. No, no, wait, no, stop. Nope. No. Wait, 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 wait. I heard the O word. I heard the O word. <laughs> Does not compete with the Xbox One X in VRAM. Okay, okay. Does he... Okay, Baron. So he doesn't ahead. know this for a fact, first of all. Uh, keep going, because there was a part... Uh, keep going real quick, I need to hear yeah, it again. Yeah, it was after this. ...in VRAM. Digital Foundry could only get this card to 4K with checkerboarding and overclocking. What? Ah, uh, you mean just like the Xbox uh, One X? just like right. the Xbox One X. Right. <laughs> Excuse me. And okay. then he says, he says this, I and I hate this, um, <clears throat> it cannot compete with the Xbox One X in VRAM. Not actual performance, which we don't have yet, in VRAM. In in what we know on paper, that's yeah. it. It can't compete. That's it's a like, flaw. It'd be like th saying that this CPU can't compete against another one in terms of its cores, even though it's actually faster. Right. But, but like, that's the only like, thing like, you uh, can do when you don't have real-life performance comparisons, yeah. which is why it's retarded to stop <laughs> these things anyway before the fucking thing is out. Uh, like when, when he was talking, he had that screen up of the CPUs earlier. It's yeah. like, you know what, one of the biggest criticisms of the Xbox One X, right, is how the CPU holds it back so much? Mm -hmm. Why yeah. would you even, what, if, if I was a fanboy of the Xbox One X who knew what he was talking about, I would never mention CPUs. No, no, it's not a good I, idea. I, would, I wouldn't ever bring it up. I would never say that, oh, but we have the CPU in our Xbox One X. I'd be like, okay, let's talk about that CPU in the Xbox One X. Let's not have a chat about that CPU <laughs> in the Xbox One X. Yeah. <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> the next most popular card is the GTX 1070 with 3.6% of PC gamers Which using Which is important it. for some a reason. A $470 card. This card is the closest in power to the Xbox One. Mm. 470 uh, bucks, Actually, huh? I'm pretty sure the 1070 surpasses the Xbox One X. In terms it, of its, there, it, it probably very would. Way. Yeah, it um, probably would. I'm, I'm glad I'm not streaming. I have some interesting related items. You viewed items popping up. Hmm. Okay, so so let me see. Let let me go to GTX 1070. Blink. And let's see here. Um. Oh, I'm on Amazon. Why the fuck am I going to Amazon or GPU prices? Well, even okay. then, maybe it'll even prove my point. Never go. Never buy your. Um. No, don't buy. Try not to buy GPUs on Amazon. A lot of times their prices are crazy. Let me go to. Let's see. GTX 1070. 400. 400 from Best Buy. So okay, so that translates into like... Yeah, so that's like $30 at a normal store, And he so did like use... A, what was it? $230 GPU to build his 4K PC early in the right. video. He so, did. Um, he did. Uh -huh. Okay, so, so hmm. I have the specs of the Xbox One X right now. And on paper... Again, sounds really good. So yeah, when it comes to VRAM, yes. But uh, the CPU is a 2.3 gigahertz, 8-core AMD, the Jaguar, okay? Uh, not great. Jaguar, uh, yeah. The GPU yes. is an integrated AMD graphics processor with 6 teraflops of performance. The RAM is 12 gigabytes of GDDR5. That's, that is generally VRAM. That's generally VRAM. If that's mm -hmm. true, which we don't know yet, um, 12 gigabytes of VRAM is what the Titan X has. And the How 1070 normally has 8 gigabytes. Yes. Um, and the storage... Because I mean, I'm looking at matter, Best Buy but, right here, yeah. and it's $400 new. So when I saw this on paper, and I, I heard or, or read 
that it was 12 gigabytes of GDDR5, I was, I was blown away. And I, I was, I was just thinking, wow, on paper, this looks powerful. But if you, now if you're you, like, what's the point? Well, if you look it up too, um, this is this, uh, the spec sheet, it's not, uh, it doesn't explain anything well. This 12 gigabytes of GDDR5, um, it's not what you actually think it is. And I was, I was, the chat that says that this is uh, RAM and VRAM together, so the whole system combined has 12 right. gigs. Exactly. Oh, so yeah. when you I find, didn't even know that. Which is a huge out. difference. Right. When you find yeah, that's that out, kind of a big deal. It is. So the 1060 that's... having mm. six, is it six gigabytes of VRAM? Uh, I think so. Yeah, they make three uh, in the chat. I just versions. read that uh, people are saying it's three gigs for the system, rest for the CPU, GPU, which m make it a nine G uh, gigabyte GPU. Which is still not and, bad. And, and Barry's, it's not uh, bad. In Barry's chat, someone brought up the Holocaust, so I kind of agree. With him. <laughs> okay, very cool. <laughs> very yes. But yeah, that's a huge difference. Exactly. That means that that that's mean that means a lot. Because mm -hmm. I thought that it was okay. I, I'm learning that for the first time. Okay, right. I needed another reason to not buy the Xbox One X. So then, <laughs> yeah, there you go. So even even with this this whole points that he's putting against himself, where if you don't have 4K TV, what's it worth? If you don't have uh, an or if you have an Xbox to begin with, what's it really worth? And then that it find out that the spec list is not actually telling all of the truth here, you're still wondering to yourself, why would I spend another five hundred dollars? I must admit now though that uh, three gigabytes for the system non-dedicated GPU memory sounds a bit low. Truth be it told, it doesn't sound like a lot, especially cons how much does the well because system last, last take. I checked, the what's... CPU still has to do loads of calculations and need a little bit of uh, room to breathe too. What's crazy <laughs> is uh, yeah, because because you look at the RAM in the other ones like the Xbox One S, it has eight gigabytes of DDR3, and it told in the GPU. Um, how much VRAM it stored? Actually, it, it wouldn't have because it's uh, it's an APU. Um, whereas this one, it it just says 12 gigabytes GDDR5. It's it's so misleading. I it's it's really scummy that they did this. Um, it is, but that's Microsoft. Yeah. Of course, but if you can call 4K anything you want, basically, mm -hmm. then I mean, there you go. Then you can call VRAM. Of course, you you sell this to people and you tell them it's got six teraflops. Then they don't. They don't. They don't know. They don't know what that means. First. Well, <laughs> no, yeah. It, I mean, could you ask anybody? Hey, what's a teraflop? And they would be able yeah. to tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. that, that is exactly what we were talking about earlier. That they get uh, dictated by their favorite company what to talk about. And Microsoft was harping on about teraflops, and suddenly all the console jams were teraflops. Woo! Without. Indeed. Yeah, they never talk that about yeah. teraflops with the other what, consoles. Yeah, what what effect yeah. does it have on real life performance? Does it turn one hundred percent or not? Uh, what does yeah. it even do? Does it mean operations mm -hmm. per second? What does it mean? <laughs> a teraflop, a teraflop no, is a unit of computing speed equal to one million million, so ten to the twelfth. Um, it's it's uh it's operations per speed, so it's kind of like a, a a gigahertz, except a one gigahertz is a billion. So it's it's pretty much um, rotation cycles. Yeah, but yeah, but just yep. because remember, it, it's just because two CPUs might be operating at a certain gigahertz speed doesn't mean that those two CPUs will be well. Exactly. That's yeah, the same. Exactly. Well, we already know that though. Because some, exactly. cause some CPUs with a lower gigahertz would still perform better than ones with a yeah. higher mm -hmm. gigahertz count. And, and yeah. you can it's, see this in older processors. If you if you pick up an oh, older yeah. processor, oh, yeah. you'll notice that it says it's three point seven gigahertz. Why doesn't it perform like the sixty seven hundred does today? There are more factors. Yeah. It's more and than GPUs just that. too. There's so many GPUs that have higher uh, teraflops inside of them, but perform less than other cards. It's just it's it's a bu it's like it's basically it's like 4K now. 4K is now a buzzword. It doesn't hate, have a me it means whatever it needs to mean anymore. I hate to be the guy who has to say nuanced, but when you're looking at hardware, you do have to actually think yeah. about it. This is it's also why there's a big difference between an artificial benchmark and a in a uh, benchmark of a game itself because mm -hmm. things can be tweaked. There's memory bandwidth issues. There's bottlenecks, uh, and, and yeah, uh, yeah and some benchmarks just start... don't give you the real life performance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. As well as the restrictions that the company puts on them too. I mean, if you if you yeah. look up, uh, you know much about how much bandwidth Sony even allows you to utilize. Um, it's it's not even close compared to what you actually have available. Hey, and did you see the the review tech USA video on Twitter that he he made not too long ago, talking uh, showing how slow the PS4 downloaded shit? It's, it's, it's very slow. It's very I retweeted slow. it. Yeah, 
I retweeted I, it. It was pretty, I, yeah. I was pretty downloading, sad. once I got my internet sorted to where it was actually a reasonable speed, when I was downloading a game on Steam, it was a lot faster than just downloading a 200 but, uh, megabyte uh, update. I, I, that I don't understand, though. Did, do they really not have a 100 Mbit uh, network controller in that thing? Or no, what, why? I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> they, they actually do limit, um, and I, I think it's because of their, their cloud. Or whatever else you have to download. Oh, they know the clouds to their service. Better. No, the thing, <laughs> the thing is, so there are so many people downloading the same game when they put the disc in. It's not all on the disc, like people still somehow think. Yeah, it's yeah. not all on the right. disc. It's so not. And it, they put yeah, in the that disc, got kicked off. They put in the disc, and it's now pulling that game from their server, and only and so many people are trying to download it. They limit how many people or, or how many. Uh, um, oh, for fuck's sake. Gigabytes that per is second. ridiculous. You can download at a time. I mean, that this is Every so time ridiculous. I think I've heard it all about corporate slavery, what shit people defend, I get uh, well, lectured. That, no, you know, the end is not even near. <laughs> the issue is that every time, uh, and this is something I've tried to do for years, every time I've tried to make a big deal out of a certain thing, too many people are like, eh, it's not a big deal. And now four years later, a lot of these bad things... That, we, that could have been stopped in our industry yeah. standard. I remember Forza 5, that game, you had to download the update because if you didn't, you couldn't complete the career mode. Like it wasn't all on the disc. Yeah. And only a few people made a big deal out of it. And now pretty much every game you buy, like they're incomplete more or less. You know what's like, definitely on the disc though? Day that. one DLC. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, why? yeah, no, I know, I know. Why, yeah, why, why, why buy the disc at all? I mean, what is There's the disc no point mean, buying the disc because mm -hmm. it, a lot of yeah. the time it doesn't have the full game. Unless mm -hmm. we're talking about Nintendo, because again, Nintendo is like the only company that still sort of Isn't, does this. Doesn't the Switch use SD cards? Yeah. It does, but, but I mean like, oh, even cool. though it has updates and stuff, I'm pretty sure like if you bought the Legend of Zelda and you never connected to the internet, you'd be fine. Like, the, the game would still work. Yeah, dude, which, seriously, if, if hey, I buy something physical, uh, if I better be, I better have access be to the, the full game disc. without the internet, it for fuck's sake. It should be on the disc. Because yeah. what if you don't have the internet? Oh, tough well, shit, you don't yeah. get the full I game mean, that you paid for. There are some logical reasons. I mean, there's physical limitation to certain di I mean, you can only layer Yeah, but then buy more discs. Back in the days, Baron, we just put disc. another disc in then. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, that's true. I mean, yeah, Eleanor came with Halo three. Halo the Master Chief Collection, that came out, and I had to download a 15 gigabyte update to play multiplayer, because they even put it on the disc, and Jeez. I would have just been a lot happier if they just put a second disc in for multiplayer. Uh, that would have been fine. Do that. Yeah, I think that's what they did. Didn't they do that with ODST? Uh, I think they did it with ODST, but I am. Yeah, they didn't do Halo it with the Master Chief came Collection. Free with it, yeah. yeah, they didn't do it with the Master Chief Collection, but that was one of many things that they stuffed up with that game. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, let's keep going. Let's keep see. Going. We're going. We we're we're halfway through, guys. We're halfway oh, through. fucking hell. Jeez. Well, I don't oh, have we'll all day start. today, sorry. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll try to go a little bit faster then. 1440p 60. On most games, it isn't built for native 4K like the Xbox One X. What, do you, what does he no, mean it, it wasn't built for native 4K? What, well, what it, clearly, it clearly isn't, though. Yeah, because it doesn't run games again, in native rated 4K by cool for the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, first off, don't tell me what it was built for, because you don't know. Second off, if it was built for that, it's doing a crappy job He does it. know. He's he's pulling a Trump right now. He knows <laughs> he's what pulling he's, a Trump. He knows what he's doing. He's, he's just pretending. <laughs> the GTX 1080 is adopted by 1.73% of the gaming community. Okay, and? What, what's, <laughs> the, what's why? Who cares? The fuck? How, how, many, how many consoles have that power right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Zero with the Absolutely. RX 480 at 1% of those surveyed. This means okay, but the there's a difference PC there. The 480 isn't as good as most or most of the actually both of these that are up here. Power wise, the 480 is comparable to a, a 10. Oh no, wait, 1070, 1060. Yeah. I think Which 1070. Is it? Is it I 1070? think 1070. That's I right. think so. Yeah. I still think that the, the whole the whole point is eluding me because what he's doing is play, basically playing statistician and and giving us random numbers uh, of who uses what and why he thinks these people are using what they're using, what resolution they're playing at, without making any coherent point as to what we should conclude from that. I mean, yeah, okay, I we know that now. Numbers. We know that now that everybody is a liar and games that nobody games at 4K, <laughs> and if they game at 4K yes. only on the Xbox One X and the PS4 players are the only hardcore gamers. But you know, apart from that, <laughs> yeah, he's trying to delegitimize the point that PC gamers make that PCs are powerful, even though by showing this, right. he disproves it. Exactly. But, so, so, 
<laughs> Didn't he create a straw man and is debunking the straw man is what you're saying? It just doesn't make any <laughs> sense. I mean, you're showing yeah. us we have the ability to utilize this technology, and then you're saying we don't have it. We do. You're showing it. We have it. His yeah, act, yeah that's it. actually something that's pretty funny because he was bringing up that, oh, 0.86% have 4K monitors, but as we have established, more than that have GPUs that are perfectly good at running games at 4K. That disproves yeah, the point. They choose to play 1080p because they'd rather do that. Mm hmm. By the way, 4K monitors are fucking cheap right now. Yeah, they are. Yeah. 1060s? No, they're not. Monitors? Yeah. Yes, they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To Xbox One X snuff is about 8 million of the 125 million PC gamers. But contrast that with the 10 to 15 million PS4 and but Xbox gamers that, that are I have declared will be there later. <laughs> but but those but the 1060 and 1070 outperform the PS4. And and again, and the Xbox One. And again, I don't, what's your point? How many PlayStation gamers have a 4K TV, buddy? How many? Yeah, and if they did, they wasted their money. <laughs> yeah, because it's mostly like still 1080p and 1440p. Yeah. You got like a handful of games. Okay, maybe a couple handful of games that that are like some of them games. actually run worse. Uh, if you look at the digital foundry yeah, do, things, yeah. yeah. At 4K, hardcore enough to care about graphics. That 10 to 15 million is based on the number of PS4 Pros sold and the estimated Xbox One. Okay, X's well, I'm just gonna him. chime in. I'm just gonna chime in on the estimated Xbox One X is sold. I don't think it's gonna sell that many. I really no. don't. Well, like I said. I'm called Eastwood, and I declare this to be my truth. Because we need, to, we need to keep in mind what else is releasing around that time. we got a new Mario, we got Wolfenstein, uh, there'll be the new Call of Duty, Destiny, or whatever, uh, that Assassin's Creed game. And keeping in mind that there's that new Mario, that means there'll be some of the audience who will be buying a Nintendo Switch. I doubt they'll be buying two consoles in the span of two yeah, weeks. Yeah, I'd buy a Switch in that over case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. But we have established uh, that earlier, haven't we? We're all going to buy Switches just to spite Cole Eastwood. Yeah, Cole oh, Eastwood really yeah. made a good argument for oh, buying a Switch. He did. He did. And he didn't even realize yeah. it. Like, I wonder if that's his point or something. Like, is that why <laughs> you're parodying that... yourself? Very sneaky. Very, very sneaky. It's smart. Mm -hmm. You know what? You actually <laughs> tricked us. All of us. But if, if I was going to say something like, here's the yes and yeah. I like to put links when I think it's, you know, important. Normally, when I crop things, it has the picture of what it is. You can type it in yourself. But that's a really bold claim to say that you know, to say the estimated count. It's like, how do you How, how could do you they know possibly that? know that the estimated like, it depends on how much the PS4 the Pro is sold. He's also conflating two different things. The PS4 Pro is not a 4K machine at no. all. So why are you including that in the number of 4K console gamers? Well, because... Yeah, because the Xbox Sony One X is only a 4K yeah. gaming machine. Change the definition of 4K. Right. Yeah, it, exactly. it does. It does. It changes. Because I think the thing is, when you, when you are Sony or Microsoft, you're saying this is a 4K machine. Not in that it will play games at 4K, but that it can. And so the GameCube by itself uh, can run games at 4K. Could, yeah, easily run yeah. games at 4K. So there we go. That is now a 4K yeah. machine. My GameCube. 1070 is a 4K card now. And yep. 10, 1080 is a 4K card. Well, that was always the We're truth. We're just choosing it. We just I mean, keep pushing it back. Can. We can yeah. choose it at that point. Like, that's your mm -hmm. problem. Yeah, it's like you have to apply the standard to everything. You don't get to special, you can't do the special pleading nonsense. No. Yeah. You have to follow your own rules. I'd be sold even without any native 4k games even if all of them were checkerboarded well, I what i get your wish there what what i, hit, I didn't listen for a second Fuck. what okay oh my god okay how could he know that what? how could he right. know that there are 65 okay. games oh right. oh, oh uh, dad okay yeah cool. i remember and all the good. estimated xbox one x is to be sold even Which without any native 4K games, even if all of them were checkerboarded. Currently, there are no! 65 oh, yeah, okay, yes. 4K titles on the <laughs> Xbox One X yes, I and get it, 22 I get it. on the PS4 Pro. Yes, there, there are native well, how can right that, now. How can he say that how? they're currently on it? It's not out. It's not out. <laughs> there's, there's zero. <laughs> It's a, it's a very, very round number that Does rhymes with hero. Anyone have a problem with the fact that he just said, even if all of them were checkerboarded I know. scaled? Even what? if all of them were checkerboarded, it has it's this many okay. native. What? <laughs> this makes no sense. That's the See, same it's point. all about 
it's about changing definitions. You can't be racist if you're a minority. You can't. Uh, it's, it's all about changing and, definitions. And 4K is 4K, even if it isn't. Yes. That's and it. there's also and, games out for a console that is not out. And so, 22 yeah, PS4 Pro games that are native 4K. Like, this is a really bad screenshot, first off. Because you're saying <laughs> native 4K, <laughs> PS4 Pro has 22 native 4K games? That doesn't sound That's right to me. pretty bad. It would only be indie games anyway, I would they say. Would, it's probably Yeah, and as, we, as we've heard all the time from... How does he That's know that 65. there are 65 games that... I'm and looking wait, at wait, a site called Windows Central right now that says a complete list of Xbox One X enhanced games up to 4K HDR. Yeah, but enhanced doesn't even mean exactly. it's enhanced. Enha it's enhanced. As we've already established, enhanced could literally apply <laughs> to games that aren't enhanced. Yes, it's, list it's, of God, my God, <laughs> 4K Xbox and One. And they literally say here, as more developers jump on board with Xbox One X support, we'll be sure to update this list. So basically, this is a list of games that will be supported on the Xbox One X, and it says nothing about the, the resolution. And, actually. you know, what I, what I also noticed when I was reading stuff as well, they when, the, when they initially revealed it, they were saying something like, if the game runs at 900p or 1080p, then they'll be able to get it to run at 4K without a loss in the frame rate. But by the process of elimination, that means if a game runs at 720p, there's no chance. All right. That it's all right. Be running so, at 4K. yeah. This article was written um, a month ago. This is um, from Vamers.com. It's Xbox One X games confirmed to run and render at native 4K Ultra HD. All right. This article is written by, I don't know, it doesn't have it listed. Oh, Hans Hopped. Whoever that guy is. All right. So it says native 4K Ultra HD games, UHD games. Ashen, Black Desert, Crackdown 3, Deep Rock Galactica, Forza Motorsport 7. Let's see. It says is Metro Exodus. That's no way. No, no way. No. No. <laughs> don't I don't believe that. For I don't a second. believe that don't either. Believe no that way. I trust this article as far as I could throw a grand piano. <laughs> Metro Exodus is going to run native 4K on the Xbox. There's no way. That's like one of the best looking games I've ever seen. No way. All right. It's also got Battlegrounds, which is. It's we'll got see about that. Yeah. The we'll Last see about Night. Yeah, maybe. Um, oh, the Middle last Earth night, Shadow yeah. of Mordor. Really? I mean, I. Hmm, we'll see. But there's. It's got like Sea of Thieves, State of Decay 2. Native yeah, 4K. yeah, but Saturday Decay 2 looked like shit, so mm. <laughs> I'm surprised. Black me. Desert, Black Desert, Native 4K. Black yeah, but this is the thing, wow. though. This stuff mm. can change before launch because with Halo 5, I remember that 1080p 60, and then when it came out, it was dynamic 60. See, the okay. thing is, it's then it's got a section for Xbox One X enhanced or yeah, HDR, which, which means nothing. And right. look for for the in this article it says 4K checkerboarding or dynamic resolution and only has a single game listed Assassin's Creed Origins so it's bullshit. So yeah, that's that's not true because we know Anthem is checkerbox as well. Yeah, well, yeah, we know a lot of games are. Someone, so yeah, I don't, I don't know where he got this. Someone in the comments was ask, asking what checkerboard upscaling is and how it works. Um, it's I, it's kind of like if you're running the game at 1080p, but then you sort of um. Oh, it's hard to explain, actually. Let me I, look it up I again. Actually, I actually did just look it up, and I, I have the uh, uh, the how it works right now. What it does is oh, it renders a checkerboard pattern of pixels to a 4K frame buffer and then interlopes the ones that have not been rendered using values from the rendered ones. This avoids distorting the actual rendered pixels, but you get half the level of detail and clarity uh, compared Yay. to a true 4K image. But yeah, it's... It, it... Less interlopation. That's like um, like uh, interlacing in old videos. Exactly, basically. it's exactly yeah. that. Uh, so you get half the detail, uh, but less interlopation artifacts than an upscale from fifteen hundred p would introduce. That's in that's other words, this is nowhere near close what four K is supposed to bring: more clarity, more crisp pixels, more color uh, originality. Uh, in right. like a so, of terms. so this is just the opposite. If if you go to Google and type in true 4K Xbox One X games, the first two things that pop up is 4K is the wrong target for Xbox One X and PS4 Pro Ooh. from The Verge. And The Guardian says Xbox One X. Microsoft is convinced we need 4K. That moment but, you quote The Guardian. 
Yeah, that was weird, right? <laughs> but Anthem isn't true 4K. Titles getting HDR and 4K support. I mean, it's Halo 5 will run in true 4K on Xbox One X. You know, it looks shit anyway. Xbox One. I I can't. I want I want to know where he has this dedicated list of 65 games, and how he finds out because Seriously? I've got conflicting information here. Well, I, the, the article I read had had a uh, uh, amount of games. I didn't count them. They could have been 60 or 65, but these were only confirmed games that will be supported on the Xbox One X. Uh, all games that will be, definitely be ported over <laughs> uh, without any mention of frame rates or uh, guaranteed well, 4K we 60 know or anything. Are. The frame rates will not improve. Well, you, you don't know that. No, it, no, it, no, no. It's it's just something like that you kind of know because. Well, it's well we, just... we don't. Sorry, we, we don't know whether they're just copying their code one to one or whether they are actively trying to improve their code for the new hardware that's coming out. It could be. Well, let, let's put it this Barry, way: Barry, every Barry, example we've Barry, seen thus link. far has been Barry, there. the link. What? What are you talking about? The no, link. I don't. I don't have it. It's already cut out of. It's actually fully cut out of my. Uh... They only have to see it once. Well, then somebody got really lucky and guessed the entire thing. <laughs> But oh no shit i'm i'm now i'm a no, i'm to blame thank I... god oh god <laughs> <laughs> now, just... I, now i'm the idiot again okay no, what i was saying about the the frame rate is it's just the mentality that i that has led me to believe that there won't be any improvements in terms of the majority of games it's just it's the mindset where the the frame rate doesn't matter that much i wonder if i can i i lock you, well you have screen. to have that mindset you have to. Yeah. Or else everything falls apart. No, I exactly. That's that's exactly it. Perfect. Oh, you can totally ban people from the room, guys. Uh oh, that's cool. easy. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. All right. Got well, it. I, I so have... let's see. Yeah. All right. So yeah, let's go. Sixty-five. I mean, his by by his contradictory statement, there are sixty-five native four K games that aren't native. Okay. Here yes. we go. Of course, not every game on the Xbox One X will be native 4K. Of course. Mm -hmm. See, th this this switching back and forth, man, is like if they're not 4K, but if they were, but they're not all going to be. Every 65 <sighs> games that I know of currently will run at 4K, but not every game will run. At 4K. <laughs> that's why I, that's why my last image said in bold all cap letters <laughs> native 4K at exactly. the top of it with a big 65 by my console. But even there. if they were <laughs> all like checkerboard, not every GTX 1080 or RX 580 PC gamer will be running their games in 4K. How can you say that? Because he is God. That? It's the thing he's been that. saying from the beginning. It's just the same thing, yeah. just reshuffled and said again. Because <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really anybody is. could just choose to play the game God. at 4K on low or medium settings. Let me tell exactly. you something. Exactly. If they do, they're lying. Let me tell you something. Because 4K <laughs> yeah. is independent from frame rate and graphical quality. Let me tell you All something, right? Fringy. I'm going to tell you without, without any shadow of a doubt. Anyone who buys the Xbox One X, they're only going to play on a 480 TV. I know this for a fact. I know this, okay? And I will repeat <laughs> this as time goes on, because I need you to remember I confirm it. this, therefore we even, have even, a witness to Barry's truth-telling. Even though, even though not everybody plays on a 480 TV, <laughs> I know for sure that everybody plays even on a 480 TV. Even though my preference is 4K, everybody will be playing on a 480 TV. And don't what, you're you... telling me people still are playing on CRT monitors? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love them. <laughs> Keep... Alright, and... But these new consoles are finally competing with hardcore PC gamers but I, but I, graphics. But I thought... But I thought there were no hardcore PC gamers. What the <laughs> fuck is happening here? And PC elitists are clearly not happy about what? it. What? What did I talk PC you? Elitists ridicule yeah, we, 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 I think we do need to talk about this because, uh, or rather stop here, because he does say now PC elitists will not be happy about it. I can only repeat, you ha here have four semi-popular PC elitists who all say, nope, all right, sorry. Not sorry. Just don't care. Yeah. Right. Nope. I, I'll, be, I'll be glad if uh, the next console generation brings us less holding back of PC gaming due to hardware limitations off console. So more power to you, dude. <laughs> yeah, and I, I can't wait to pick up an Xbox One X and play it 480p. Yay! <laughs> because Nintendo doesn't encroach on their territory. A mobile gaming system with cheerful, family-oriented games doesn't threaten the hundreds of dollars PC gamers have invested in what, getting high What in the hell graphics. is he talking about? <laughs> what? what? Sorry, in the sorry world? I keep thinking. <laughs> what is he talking about? It's Do you not feel people, threatened? 
threatened by Nintendo. No, what? isn't that great? Oh. Isn't that great? I love this too. And he, he uses words like like the Animal Planet would use. They're not encroaching on their territory. You know what and I what mean? Does like, he mean? Like, do not feel does, right. this, does he not realize that a yeah. lot of people who game on PC also own at least one console? I have, yeah, I've, I have a PS4 uh, and I have a 3DS. Yeah, well, like, I have a PS3 I, I a, in my living room. I own a PC, I got a PS4, a Wii U, and against better judgment, I bought an Xbox One two years ago that's just sitting there collecting dust. Uh, that's alright, you're younger than me. And, 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 and a Vita, you know? Like, I own them all. It's not about how does it encroach on that. If they want to play the game, they'll buy the system. <laughs> yeah, that's all there is to it. They don't have to worry. And about I find it actually kind of cute that he thinks that we'll be threatened by the Xbox One X because I do not feel threatened by a closed system that I have to pay extra money for just to play with well, my I mean, friends. I don't feel and, uh, threatened by an inanimate uh, object first. Because and in the exactly that, but in the end, it's still a very fucking feature restricted lockdown uh, PC that I can't do much with. So whatever they could bring up, come up with, they could have a 16K console, and I would not switch because it just doesn't do the things that I want my game to do. It doesn't have the games I, wanted... I want. Here's yeah. something I'd want him to explain, though. How is it threatening? Like, in what way? What is the threat? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that someone Arms, might, I have no idea. That, that someone might actually go out and purchase a different color or, or console, or that or that companies actually will compete with each other and try to make better. Or that, or that, God forbid, a <laughs> consumer can have more than one platform. <laughs> right. That too oh, is dear. that's a dangerous one. Actually, we don't want to. Yeah. No. We don't want to no, that. that's a bit. That's, that's a bit the hard. one that makes the whole argument fall apart, really. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! All right. One X and even the PS4 Pro consoles finally have the hardware to give you PC quality. Yeah, crap. but not PC oh, quality no, frame no. rates, huh? No, 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 no. Well, I mean, when it comes to how much the human eye can actually see, that really doesn't matter, does it? Oh, exactly. yeah, yeah. All right, PC. On. And besides, PC quality. What does that mean? Right, right. Now that yeah. We, we've, yeah, you've, you've been showing, that you've been showing this huge, broad swath of the range that is PC gaming capability. So what is? I mean, I mean, yeah. PC quality is terrible and the best at the same time. Yeah. Which individual PC? <laughs> That's such point a, out yeah. the individual PC. No, that is such a good point, though. Like the I mean, entire tell time. Me, let's define. Let's define what PC quality is, mm -hmm. and if it's lower than mine. I'm going to say that isn't PC quality. If it's higher than mine, then I can go along with it. So it's, what's the... I don't know. It's just... Yeah. It's such a, <laughs> what do these words mean? Fix. Visuals you won't see in a $500 PC. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Because now I think there's all that needs to be said. Bullshit. Carry on. No, no. Like, get Bullshit. that. Get that. So we're finally getting PC quality... Uh, uh, games that will actually uh, play better than any PC out there. It's PC quality, but it's better than any PC. Yes, but remember, and but this is the, the, threatened. But we spend thousands of dollars on our gaming rigs, but it only takes five hundred dollars to get PC quality. God, physics just Which works one that way. Is yeah, in... fucking hell. Lo logic, what is even? I want to close this video with a preaching. Or you should have closed it with an apology. Seriously, is what you should have, because <laughs> this abortion of a video production is. <laughs> <laughs> he says, he That's said, he said, I want to close this video and I got excited and then I noticed there were three minutes left and was like, Clap. yeah, no, was like, <laughs> like, now that we're 60% of the way done, <laughs> you won't see in a $500 PC. I want to close this video winner. with a preaching rant that I gave in the Xbox Man, Nation that aiming, podcast. though, that aiming skill. You'll hear emotion <laughs> that is built up. <laughs> it's like, it's <laughs> like, there's, like, there's some guy whose job it is to paint walls, and he's like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I oh, hope if, if you are playing with a mouse and keyboard, you have no excuse. It doesn't look like <laughs> mouse and keyboard. It's it does. does. No, it's it's on consoles. He's playing on he's, consoles. He's, he's moving way too sporadically too slow. I, so it, I was it about to say, like usually controller. when when I see a console player watch games on, on YouTube, they, they either move vertically or horizontally, but never the same, both no. in the same time. No. Like, uh, shotguns are supposed to be deadly at close range, right? Yeah. They also never look up or down. Wild yeah. claims Is this guy also polygons for over two years? <laughs> oh, yeah. Nigel, roll the tape. Okay, so let's let's say let's let's talk about what this rant's about here. 
I want to close this video with a preaching rant that I gave in the oh, Xbox shit. Nation aiming now podcast. Shoot him! You'll hear emotion that is built up from enduring wild- Oh! Oh, fucking emotion. <laughs> the emotion the... that's built up from you all the peace the singers and their lives! I can't get over that. He shot the side. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He has a chronic fear of the, you know, the azure hues. <laughs> PC gamers are afraid of the Scorpio. I'm so mad about all these things. Oh, people God. I'm certainly not listen, mad at listen the... Listen to this. Listen, listen to this when he says this. Okay, okay. $500 PC. We gotta list this. Right? I want to close this video with a preaching rant that I gave in the Xbox Nation <laughs> podcast. Right here. You'll hear emotion that is built up from enduring wild claims from PC gamers for over two years. Oh dear. Emotion. He's all emotion. that built up. Emotion. emotion. The feels, their wild, Their wild claims for emotion. two years have brought out all this emotion inside yeah. of me. When we like... Because I'm such a little, I'm such a little bitch <laughs> that when people tell me about their PCs, I get emotional. I get emotional. Yeah. I, I'm emotional right now in, in a good way. I'm emotional right now. <laughs> I'm yeah, happy. I'm, I'm so happy. I, that, I might just need to pass something, but it could be yes. emotional. Okay, so I did that video. Can you? So that's now his recording from video? from his live yeah. stream. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is him on an Xbox podcast. Yeah. So do what perfect. the Xbox One X will do for four ninety nine. Okay. And I got drones of comments from these PC elitists scared mm. out of their little. Uh, See, we've yeah. already labeled them PC elitists, and we're scared again. If yeah. you, if you comment yeah. on his video, which was ridiculous by the way if you go to his video and you comment on it and say actually this has faulty information you're a pc elitist so that's the problem you've, al you've already you've already attached this label to everybody who doesn't agree with you mm -hmm. that they're a pc elitist which is and not right. he's playing the mind reader as well what i've always find fascinating is that these people are not just happy with pointing out that somebody is wrong or that they don't agree with them they also have to always tell them why they are doing the things that they do. So in this case, it's because they're scared. Other people will tell you that it's because you're well, angry. Other people say because you have a small penis. Right. But they always have to add why you're doing <laughs> they this. Know you. they it just... could never be because you simply disagree. Yeah. There's always got to be an angle. It could be because you're wrong. It no, could... that, there's always a deep psychological reason that only they know. <laughs> and this is this is the gaming equivalent of identity politics. Oh yeah, yes. yeah. It's it's it's. I've like, compared it's console peasants to SJWs for it's, years now. Oh, uh, same here. Yeah. Research I'm for me to. He to, should change just, that O and cult to a U. To cult. It, it took a lot of just research cult. for me to just say the same things over and over. There's no way I'm actually wrong. You're a liar. More time <laughs> propping out this damn <laughs> GPU than I spent researching what the damn <laughs> GPU was. I don't know what a 1060 is. Machines, what are but they? But it is rated for 1080p. I, I built it. NVIDIA computer. pants about how this Xbox... NVIDIA fans? Yes. Come I'm on. sure AMD fans are said was going to yeah. try and do 4K gaming. They gave me parts list at $500, $550, $482, claiming that that PC would do 4K uh, 30, some 4K 60, that it would support VR, and they told me, you don't need to... The, you don't need the the Blu-ray player. All right, you're, you're interjecting. All right, you're, yeah, you're, you're, interject the you're interjecting. The what? What are yeah, you talking about? We don't about? need a blue. The Blu-ray player has no impact on performance. No, yeah. it doesn't. And we first don't off, put anything in it. You, he's adding this angry voice to it. It's like maybe, maybe when the video gets that kind of reception and everyone is throwing builds at you <laughs> that prove you wrong. Maybe they have a point. Right. Maybe when someone showers you in proof that you're incorrect, maybe they might have a point. All right? This is why it's a cult. Because all the proof in the world cannot change your mind. Why do people hate me right? when I'm wrong? Why do people hate me when I'm wrong and I don't accept that I'm wrong? All right? Uh, it's fine. He's, he's emotionally distressed. Like, I remember the first time I had a controversial video, too. Yeah. But I got over it because I'm not a little bitch. <laughs> oh, my, 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 sorry, uh, my, my yeah. favorite controversial video of myself is, is when I said uh, I'm against Brexit. Holy shit! Uh, backlash! <laughs> Woo! Blat! <laughs> oh, you're a bit different to me. I just sort of start ignoring it eventually. When it's yeah. the same thing where someone's like, they don't understand the goddamn word that you said. Then yeah. at that point, just ignore it. Oh, it was just like, there, funny. Because there are videos that I've done, a lot of them 
most of my videos are uh, uh, very very positively rated some have some are more controversial and even the ones i mean i re i did read the comments right but you get to a certain size on youtube and it becomes just a shit show trying to read all the comments but you i do go through and i do read the comments and i do listen to the criticisms and when you do that you don't make the same mistake twice mm -hmm. and when people praise you for something you make sure to keep doing it like the last video, people said, thank you, Rags, for actually giving Paladins a fair chance and explaining it instead of just saying Overwatch was better off the bat. You know, it's like if you, you, you look at the people who are praising you consistently for what you're doing, and you look at the people who are criticizing you, and if people are throwing proof in droves into your face, you don't just stick your fingers in your ears like a child cult and then say they're a bunch of elitists, label them all as something, and then just go, nah, 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 I can't hear you. And they, yeah, it they, sounds they, a bit they, like uh, is, someone else that we know. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy <laughs> is he actually took that that and and maybe he was talking right here as he was out of out of disdain. He was upset, right? I, I get that. Okay, you made an unpopular video, but then to go back and listen to yourself, say the things you did, and learn nothing from it, and even go, my God, I made such good points. I'm putting it in my newest video. Are you joking me? I would say that if you get a lot of criticism and at the very least don't legitimately think about whether or not you're wrong, doesn't mean you have to accept whether you're wrong, because you might well be right, but I'm not talking about you in particular, you're wrong, but if you, yeah, if if... you get a bunch of criticism and you, you, you need to start to think about whether or not you are right, before exactly. you just assume that everybody else is wrong. Examining your own and... views at all times is essential, especially uh, in... We for if you don't, doing, then you uh, end absolutely. up one, one of these social justice people at university yeah. who's losing the goddamn plot. When I mean, they, let's be honest with though, ninety percent, I would say, maybe even criticism that you get on YouTube is absolute trash and doesn't help you at all because it's mostly yeah, ideology it's the and it's the yeah. consistency of the criticism yeah. that you want to look for. It's like when you look exactly. at reviews for a product, you don't you look at the consistency of the issues people have. For and example, that's how you if, find if it. your entire outlet is called ignorant repeatedly then maybe you need to get different writers yeah you actually play video games and who Polygon. know what the fuck they're talking about oh yeah uh, apparently Polygon. kotaku wrote an article though about like oh if you hear harassment against women online don't be quiet about it and it's like what what you're a news Listen organization and believe, Fringy. <laughs> right news you're supposed to report on the news <laughs> not how people act on the internet it's like, I think I'm, I'm so much better of a YouTuber than when I started because you, mm -hmm. you listen to what people have to say and it makes you better and it, it makes you look better. It, it's, it's such a huge, if you admitting that you fucked up is one of the best things you could ever do for your image. It's, it's yeah, my hobby ever. on YouTube to say I'm wrong. Yeah. I think I have it at is, least seven or eight videos out uh, in which so I good. only say how much wrong I was. Hell, it might be worth it for you to lie and say something stupid just to fake say, Oh, look at that, I, fuck, I fucked up, I was listening, he's like, Oh, he's such a likable character! He's so likable, he said he was wrong, and he was, because he mm. listened to criticism, and he lost all his proof. And, uh, you know what's really interesting But is... Colt, look, oh my god, man. Sorry, Go continue. Ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Oh, okay, I, I was gonna say, you, you look at the video, because I'm looking at it on YouTube right now, the like-to-dislike ratio is, uh, impressive. Um, and I was kind of looking through the comments because I was I was trying to see what people were saying, and s some of them are really mysterious. In yeah, interesting. Like I, I I see this a lot in in you know people like JTEX or when NoobTube was awful and stuff like that. You know you you'd see you're an idiot, you're you're dumb. People are like, thank you for the awesome information and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah, but 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 it's but it's because he he has attracted a viewership that is not the same viewership video about uh, like uh, the the next gen seven twenty in the crap gamer crowd. He hey. has attracted people who are more intelligent than that, but don't quite have this oh. rationality, neutrality, objectivity thing going on yet. I think mm -hmm. Cole made a video about me eight months ago, and I had no idea. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's it's a thing. It's yeah. It's only it's only thirty five percent positive, which is. Just pretty fucking awful. Oh man! Shit. He chose an odd video to. Okay, so um, here we go. Can Xbox One X do 4K6? Uh, what is the video? Um, um, what what's that video? Um, 
I, I'm trying to. It's not popping up. What's the name of that video? Can you link me that oh, video? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally can. I totally can. Hang on. So if you if you actually look up um, uh, Colt Eastwood, this is one of the ones that comes up. But it's Rags is half wrong about PC. I'll I'll actually DM it to you. Wait, is that is that the one that he's referring to? He says Rags is half wrong about PCs. I don't know what it's what it really has to do about. It. He doesn't put a lot of visualization. No, I here. think it's the one that he did about the the five hundred dollars. Oh, here it is. Hang on. Uh, rags bagging but on Dave bags ago, for dismissing PC. Long. Okay, so it, it's right here. Rags bagged on Dave bags for dismissing PC. No, no, this the video he's talking, the video he's talking about in the watch together video that we're seeing. What? That was the video oh. that he was talking yeah. about five hundred dollar PCs. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I don't know. Is, is that a recent video of his, or is he just uh, reliving Same childhood way. trauma because oh. he made that video three years ago? <laughs> Um, <laughs> because I remember I a video of his about that. that. That's a video I featured, but that was a long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find it. I want this. I want to see this video. I can't find it. We'll, uh, we'll try to find it later. If anyone in the audience can actually, uh, or knows where it is from, could you let us know? Um, yeah, because I'm at, um, because I'm going on his videos here, and... I'm looking at, I'm trying to find where he's, he's, because the video he's talking about here is where he makes, like, it's the PC $500 compared to Scorpio thing. And I can't find it. Uh, I, I don't know. If someone can, if someone could find it, and then, like, like in the, in the Barry's Discord, if you can find it, please let us know, because I can't find it. And I don't want to assume he deleted it, I just want to assume I can't find it. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, if, what would be the reason that he deleted it? Oh, hang on. Because he said, I think I found the vid. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, that video. Yeah, there it is. It's got 2,300 likes, 1,300 dislikes. Which, for a, a channel his size, is pretty it's pretty high. Mm -hmm. um, Xbox One X killing PC for $500. Yeah, yeah the top, top comment is, wait, why a network port? I can see the Ethernet plug in the back of the motherboard. <laughs> Did he reply to that? <laughs> and then the sec second <laughs> link is a PC part picker list. Um, it seems as if he has not replied to that yet. Okay, uh, well maybe he put, replied uh, to the second comment, which is a part picker link. That's the second top rated comment. He did comment to told you guys it was $500 a lol, because people, I guess, were second guessing him. Uh, um, I, don't, I don't see him replying to the top comments. I'm not gonna. It's not. It's not a huge bash against him, but uh, let me see. Wait, Here you go. Cheaper and more RAM is another. What are we doing oh. now? <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. The, the the third comment or the fourth comment is from Pepe the Frog. 127 upvotes. Cold Eastwood replied to it and said, "Dude, this is a really good build. This is the cheapest one I've been sent. Nice job." Really. So why is he upset? Because he needs views? I don't... <laughs> yeah, I mean, this other this other one here, first mistake, an FX chip, I'm done. You don't need a 4K Blu-ray drive. Discs are irrelevant no. on PC. You can cheap out no. on a case for 20 bucks. Windows 10 is free unless you want some extra features and you don't have it. And the CPU price would drop if you went for an i3. There's and even all a point these, in all here. These... There's even a point in here where he says, a ton of comments are getting flagged by my spam on YouTube because your uh, longer comments are partless. I'm trying to stay on top of approving them when I have time. Wait, what? You were complaining about all of them. So well, why are you approving all of them if you hate them so much in this video? Yeah, because if you put a link in a YouTube video, then it normally gets flagged as spam. Right, Which is what, 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 what I find amazing. On the video platform YouTube, you get spammed for posting a YouTube link. It's a, I find that amazing still. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Spam all of filter these YouTube? Are... Nah, we don't like that side here on YouTube. <laughs> nope. hey, look, look, listen, here's what's interesting. He he liked he liked a comment. Uh, he loved a comment, right? You can love comments on your own video. And the the comment he loved was all those dislikes are from PC Master Race assholes getting triggered. Yeah, of course, nice. because that, so that he's, screams. He's, he's uh, acting completely contra He's being completely yeah. contradictory. He's like on he's both sides. Side. He's but the thing is, is like, you know how there are uh, extremists on both sides. He's being both of them. That's weird. 
Um, it is very much so. That's really weird. I don't. I don't know. He's being very inconsistent with how he's. Like he's got this. a split personality. I get, like uh, that's actually <laughs> yeah, why he's red does. and blue right there. He's red and blue because one part of him is is. I don't know, extreme PC, and one side of him is extreme, or logic. I yeah, and say. he's screaming because he's fighting the inner demons yeah, within himself. that's what it is. That's what this channel represents. Yeah. He's not he's not open about it, but that's exactly what this channel it's actually, represents. It's actually a schizophrenia Whoa. self help channel. It's symbolic. Like, half of him writes the script, and the other half just takes over. And then, then he hates his other half yeah. and calls him a PC elitist. Yeah. <laughs> he loved a comment that said the CPU choice is a horrible mistake. And then he said, good, that's what I was hoping for, someone to find a better build. But you're right, the price doesn't change much. And then someone, another comment below it, not to mention you overpaid for all the hardware by quite a bit. I, yeah, I don't, I and then he's, the way he's treating these comments is, he's, 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 he's either pissed baffling. off or he's, <laughs> yeah, he's oh. weird. Like, it's, you know, at li uh I kind of miss just being able to make fun of someone like Kid Smooth, who's just wrong all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is like, now, now, just like flip flopping all over the place. Yeah, now, now you need to do a, a psychoanalysis yesterday. Bachelor of Arts, uh, Bachelor of Science. We're going to have to be yeah, able to. Like that. <laughs> uh, uh, yesterday, Colt Eastwood made a comment on this video. Yesterday, PC is king, and if you spend a little more money, you can have a vastly superior experience. My biggest bonus is the ability to play just about any game from 1977 to now. What in the world? He said that yesterday. I'm, I'm so confused now. Schizophrenia confirmed. He is. He has. I, he's bipolar. He's 100% bipolar. He is, he, is, he, is, he is gaming bipolar. He is. <laughs> I like chocolate. Vanilla's better. Maybe you should ask him yeah. what his second name is, what his other personality is called. Well, maybe, no. In, maybe. His first one is Colt. But his then, second one is Eastwood. <laughs> but then he says, but then he loves this comment that says it's so weird how defensive PC gamers get about specs on a console. He said, yeah, this video proves it too. What the hell? I don't get him. I don't understand. <laughs> let's let's wrap this video By the way, Rex, I just got a comment that, that they hate you now because they don't trust your reviews anymore. And you, you recommended Play, uh, Battlegrounds uh, Player Unknown thingy. And that yeah. it was terrible, and you were wrong, and they will never trust you in a review anymore. Sorry, Rex. Um, well, Riddle, if, if me, this bad at video games, is now... there's nothing, any video that I can do no. to fix that, so that's fine. No, you need to make right, a video now. Just... Sorry, Rex, you need to make a video now video saying you're wrong because you're such a likable character. Yep. Oh, well. well no, I'm okay. sure I'll get around to that. I'll put it on my to-do list. Okay. Yeah. There yep. we go. I like my to-do list. If you don't pick the one that I put in the parts list, you gotta go buy a shelf one for 300 bucks. So get out of here with that crap. Look, that build look. came out to a thousand bucks with the Blu-ray player. If you took the Blu-ray player out, that build was seven hundred. That two hundred and thirty dollars Blu-ray player. Yeah, I know, right? PC gamers are liars, and I'm getting sick of it because what? just yesterday, PC gamer. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he is so incons. It's like it's like there's two people operating his channel. That's what I'm saying. He's got split personality. And they hate each other. Because remember, yesterday he said PC gaming is king. Yeah. Yesterday, on <laughs> July the 13th. I don't understand this. I don't understand this guy. But PC gamers are liars. Yes, they are. What the hell? I, I need the hoo. All of us. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop, stop, stop. Real quick. Wait a minute. So, it's still a podcast with Crap Gamer. It's still, Crap, yeah. it's still a parody of himself. I, I, if he's doing this on purpose, he's still saying, and he's, he's being very clear. That's if, if this is yeah. the one thing. That's up. This is the one thing that makes everything make sense right here, right here. That's true. All PC gamers are liars. I am a PC gamer. This, this is a very <laughs> intricate. This is a very intricate set it of is. maneuvers it and is. subterfuge that he's using to get on an Xbox podcast for whatever reason. And I don't know what his end game is. I don't I know don't what his either. end game is. Isn't it also kind of like this philosophical question that gets posed uh, if there's two? Doors, and if you go into one of them, you 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 die, oh, and the other one gives you a million dollars. And then there's two people in front of them. One is a lie, and one tells the truth. And who's the real one? You right. know that one. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. That's what Colt he's doing. Eastwood is the YouTube is the small YouTube gaming equivalent of the Sphinx. He's the is. riddle of the Sphinx. Oh yeah, he's a mystery. Just does he have less... laser eyes? No, but he definitely doesn't have nice tits. So <laughs> true. <laughs> Yeah, I have the best there? moves. <laughs> dealer gaming and crap gamer. <laughs> oh, dealer gaming. Oh my god. That, that guy oh, triggers fuck. me so hard. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just yesterday, gamer put out an article saying, how can we build the cheapest gaming PC that'll do 1080p 
30 or 60 FPS. They didn't effing say 4K. They didn't say... Well, why do they care about? And uh, care about also it? PC gamer full of shit. I read this article. Here's how shit. Microsoft's 500 Xbox One compares to a PC. Well, we can we I, we can look that up and we can see what well, the the comments are there, and they'll tell you everything you need to know because PC ga PC gamers comments are ten times better than PC gamers articles. I guarantee you that. Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, here's how Microsoft's 500 Xbox One. Okay, it should fill out for me. Yeah, sure enough, PC Gamer first link. Uh, let's go to the comments. Okay, one sec. I'll, I'll be right back. You guys keep going. Yeah, no worries. All right. Um, as a console, it's certainly impressive. However, who are they targeting for the system? It can't be low-budget console gamers. There's no way they pay $500. It can't be PC gamers because they're trying to pull them away from a rig that naturally has almost every other advantage. It would be way too hard. Who? Um, uh, let me see. I just don't get the obsession with 4K. Um, well, see. also, I mean, it's quite clear that if you just Google $350 PC, uh, PCs come up that can uh, reach, well, 1080p, 60 FPS quite easily. And when a PC gamer says they need $500 to build that, that already shows that they are not keeping up with <laughs> today's no, technology. I, yeah, <laughs> clearly. Um, uh, because later in the article, they also say that they were hard-pressed to be able to find upgrades to that uh, that can make it uh, 4K for little money. Or you can't remove much from that $500 PC without uh, losing your ability to play 1080p 60fps, which is absolute bullshit. And um, they say that this uh, computer would almost be not upgradable. And uh, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> um, that's just PC Gamer being PC Gamer, and PC Gamer has stopped being a credible source for PC Gamer for me like two or three years ago. Yeah, they, um, they've uh, really dropped off. They have it's embraced HW-ism, really which is partly really the have. reason for that, I think. It's um, rough. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the same with most websites, though. The only big website that I can think of that's like not sort of embraced social justice is Jewel Shockers. That's all I can think of. Well, it's, it's really sucky, too, because it's one of the websites that a lot of people will go to when they don't know much about PC gaming. They'll go to a site called PC Gamer. And they yeah, yeah the comments like always call them out for their bullshit, though. Right. <laughs> it's just um, it's, video game journalism now is just a joke. Yeah. I got I got banned fashion. once yep. from PC gaming comments um, because I um, they I basically said uh, I wouldn't support um, something like a, that a video game uh, had done and it was an Andy Chalk article and it just so happens it was an Andy Chalk article and it it, it was very is like, let's just say that I I got taken care of but as sorry guys no who's pulling the strings or anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me see yeah this. Um, that they don't i don't think they say in this article what the i don't think they if <laughs> exactly. 1080 exactly right okay That's exactly so my 1080, <laughs> pops up. um okay let me see they only mention 1080p in the article one time so the Xbox One X will super sample existing Xbox One games, which is useful if you don't have a 4K TV. It will run them at 4K resolution, downsampling to 1080p resolution for sharper picture. That's the only time they even mention 1080p in this entire article. I don't know where he's getting why... I don't know where he's getting the fact yeah. that they brought up that their PC was aiming for 1080p when they compare Also, the by the way, I just noticed that the very beginning of this article makes a mistake because it says the Scorpio boasts a generous 10 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM, which we have established is not true. So the very yeah. first sentence already is meh. Yep. Yeah, this is a June 11th article. So I don't yep. know when, but Tuan Nguyen wrote this. Well, I mean, it's, it's, I guess, not that part particularly their fault. That's, that's all they had to go off as well because of what Microsoft did. Oh. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I, I, um, I'm a, yeah, I, I must admit, I just got this information from the chat myself. So. Right. <laughs> yeah, but it is, right. it is wrong. Yeah, mm -hmm. but the only, but he says here in his video that this article they use a PC, but they only shoot for 1080p 30 FPS. But in the article, 1080p only talks about the Xbox One X doing 1080p, taking 1080p and upscaling it, making it better. 
Right. So then where do so he I don't find know where he, I don't I don't know where he gets this information. So I think Probably he might the same be place calling out. Where he got his ten million Xbox sold by the end of the year. Uh, yeah, here in general chat in the Discord. That's that's the PC gaming article, and you can go there and then you know Control F search for phrases. You know something you can't do on an Xbox, and you go there <laughs> and you look for 1080p, and it only occurs once in the article, eleven times in the comments. Yeah. So I don't know where he got the info here. He might be slandering an article. I don't know. But that's... <laughs> and he I, doesn't know either. <laughs> I don't know. To what avail? I mean, there's got to be a reason. Because, because if you tell that shit to Dealer Gamer and Crap Gamer and all their cult friends, oh, they'll yeah. believe it. That's true. They'll <laughs> believe well, it. As we can hear from yeah, the reaction of them in the video, yeah. they go, Woo! I've, like, I've, I've yeah, heard them like, say... When when uh, Fallout 4 was coming out, they were talking about uh, when when uh, Bethesda was saying, yeah, it'll be 30 FPS on the Xbox, 30 FPS on the PlayStation, and 60 FPS, uh, uh, it's like unlimited actually on the PC, uh, no restriction on the PC. One of them, I think it was Crap Gamer, had actually said that um, uh, it was going to be 30 FPS on every platform, and then he said, but I know those PC gamers are hack will hack it. That's why I hate PC gamers because they always ruin games by <laughs> like hacking. Hack and I was like, firstly, cool. you lied because no, that's not true. It's going to be, you know, unlimited. And secondly, what's wrong with us being able to modify the game to suit us better? That's retarded no, logic. Hack- there we go. Dude, me using that word again. It. But yeah, yeah. You guys are making it's me say the R word. No, people, people, mm. f- people follow these idiots and they believe anything mm-hmm. they say. Yep. I mean, I wouldn't believe anything a shower cap says. <laughs> I wouldn't either. I don't trust anything that covers up my hair. Let's, <laughs> let's go. Uh, All right, let's, uh, right, let's, let's continue. Yes. They built this PC, He's and they said the cheapest we can get it without peripherals, which I don't ever count when I do these parts lists. You don't count it when you talk about console price either. Nope. Yeah. So, it comes with a controller and a TV. was 500 bucks. <laughs> and here, for a month, I had these lying... PC gamers telling me <laughs> that you could build a 4K VR supported Blu-ray. No, but no, chip. no, 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 Dude, no PC gamer person. told you that you can build a 4K Blu-ray supporting PC because PC gamers no, don't fucking care no, about fucking Blu-rays. Not that. one. All of Not all one. of your comments are saying that Blu-ray is pointless. Why yeah. did you include it? That's such a crazy <laughs> stipulation to actually throw in there. That's <laughs> yeah. not true at all. If, all if right, someone listen. did say that, okay, here's here's what probably happened. He probably said. Give me a 4K uh, Blu-ray with a PC and make this list. It's like okay, when you add that in there, you're you're kind of you know shooting yourself in the foot. Don't be an idiot. It's yeah, that's okay. So, Colt Eastwood, I need you to understand that maybe, maybe there's a reason you have 434 videos and 16,000 subs. Oh, he he's he's rising and through the ranks right now though in his defense. Um, well, that's not that. That's not exactly hard, is it? No, not in his what? circles. No. <laughs> um, what? No, is because his... he. I would say that he's the most well put together of every. Yes. Um, yeah. Of these. That's, well, I, that's not. That's I, not I hope... saying much, but sort of. Yeah. 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 I, I also hope that his channel will become the most viewed of this kind of channels because, uh, well, at least then we don't have to deal with the with the mainstream bullshit that uh, Mr. Showercap and Copper Gamer. <laughs> uh, I mean, Copper Wolf, Copper and, Wolf. And, and Turd yeah. Gamer put out. Yeah, Copper Wolf. Right, yeah. So, yeah, sure Copper enough, he, in, the, in the comments of this video, he pinned his own comment that said, I game mostly on PC, and the wild claims by PC gamers on my videos has sparked this call out. My numbers well, are often, my, he says, my numbers are often some stuff here because no one has the real info, but the ratio remains the same. What? No, what? it doesn't. Not in any. What? Not in any. No one knows. Not in any reality. <laughs> not Nobody any. knows. So I can make up whatever shit I want. No, I, I will list it out for you, Colt. No, not on how many games will run at 4K on your Xbox. Okay. No, not in the Steam surveys that you screwed up. No, not on how many Xbox One Xs will be sold. How many times do I can keep going? You listed so many of these statistics. It's. You don't have any proof for any of them. Yeah, barely. if you don't have that, if nobody knows, Colt, that doesn't mean you can make shit up. No, <laughs> it means you say nobody knows. And if you want to make a guess, you say I'm guessing this. Well, based that reminds on- me of the religious people, then, right? So we don't know how this happened. Therefore, God. Hey, yeah, hi. Same yeah. sort of thing. 
Yeah. Oh, oh sure enough, the, yeah, third comment in the entire video, re replying to him right here. I think the fact that you defined hardcore PC gamers by what resolution they play at, not what hardware they have, was a sore point. A lot of people play at 1440, uh, 144 Hz 1080p, but have hardware that matches the Xbox One X. Oh yeah, it's fair enough. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's a very good comment too. Whoever. Uh, yeah, the comments are getting job. better upvotes than he is, and it's his channel. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let us finish uh, yeah, this says, thing. Yeah, he says 80% of this video is truth and logic. Give me a big slice <laughs> of break. Uh -oh. okay, okay, so fan then there, there's another statistic you got wrong. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, you mother... And if you think I'm just an Xbox... Uh, you one would one might be led to that impression. Xbox <laughs> <laughs> corporate slave. Remember that I do a lot of gaming on my. I just love it when race. people feel the need to bring this up. Like yes. it doesn't change the fact that yeah. you still say yeah. shit. Right? Yeah, this I, is the, I don't on care APC, what but... your PC is. I don't care how much your PC is. Oh, that God. doesn't change the fact Except, that and this you is made also a shit what I, video. What I always think I don't see all these comments who say I have this rig, I'm better than you, or yeah. I bought my four thousand dollar PC. It only ever comes from the console side that they when they say I have this PC, I paid yeah. so much dollar for it. But, I was really stupid because now I play on my console. Like, dude, what? <laughs> Let's put it this way. Usually, if you're the kind of person who has to bring up the fact that you play on PC, it you generally means problem. you've got the console yep. mentality. Exactly. It means you have the console way of thinking. Exactly. So even though you're on PC, you're still limiting your options artificially mm -hmm. because you aren't, you still got the blinders on. Yep. Hey, I, yep. I play on PC. I, I built my PC. I, I know what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, it's just uh, your, your arguments are completely independent <laughs> no, from what PC you no, own. No, no, so. no. Listen to me. I built my PC. Listen to like me. This, yes. These are the kind okay. of people who'd be okay. like, okay. well, I'm an astrophysicist <laughs> and I'm telling you that the sun is made of marshmallow. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can't exactly. make arguments from authority. Exactly. Give us some evidence. Mm -hmm. Give us some proof. Don't don't misconstrue your your statistics. Your argument can't just be yeah. I play on PC, therefore I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're yes. still wrong, mate. <laughs> exactly. If any if if anything, it makes you look worse because you not you have you less of an excuse. Oh my god. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. It makes oh. it look worse to bring that up. Uh huh. Absolutely. Okay, notes. Which I built two years ago you can build a pc like that yep. cheaper now but i just want to make this blanket Why? statement you can build a pc for 500 dollars but it's just a what? terrible oh why what wait, if wait, your wait, budget's 500 dollars you wait. classist prick wait where <laughs> he, he he goes on to say what exactly idea i think you'd be better off shooting for a 700 to 800 dollar budget some people don't have that budget cult seriously Come on, man. What if somebody yeah. doesn't have eight hundred? Also, bucks? why would it be a terrible idea? I mean, a five hundred dollar PC yeah, is a better performance that's... options than any console out right now. That's Unlike a really... Xbox, but it's not even out. No, that's <laughs> a really good, uh, a good start. Like a five hundred dollar system is a really yeah. good start. It makes a yeah. great yeah. platform to upgrade future in the future. Exactly, yeah. especially if you get a good processor off the bat and you work up yeah. your graphics card. That's a very, very good way. And then, uh, Rags, you've mentioned this before. Here's what you do too. Use your computer for a couple years, and then those components you don't need anymore. That that 750 Ti that you got super cheap, sell, sell that. It. There you go. Yep. You sell your all. Yeah, sell your and old now hardware. You have money. You waited stuff. a little bit. You have a little money to throw down on that new GPU. What do you do now? Now you have a computer that I mean already was better than your console or bit better than a, and, and now there it is. You're you're and with and when you. And, and when you start off at like 500 bucks, you it, when you start off with these PCs that are you know cheaper, but are functional, you know, and give you good options, it allows you to test the waters as to you 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 discover mm -hmm. what you find important mm -hmm. and what you don't care about. And You'll you know, keep in mind, you got to keep in mind by comparison to 500 dollar Xbox One, there's also that you don't have to pay 60 bucks a year for online multiplayer. That's true. And the games yeah. are cheaper. So it's actually a really good idea. If you have 500 bucks and your choices are Xbox One X or a PC, get the PC. It's, yeah, what well, he's is literally worthwhile. saying, if you have $500 left, rather buy a console that you have spent extra money on just for existing, or please don't don't buy that PC that you can do all these other things with. And the trade-off yeah, yeah, exactly. trade trade is now you can't write anything, you can't make videos, yeah. you can't do anything. What, I, well, what I tell people... 
what yeah it is it really is because it ha it really doesn't i mean it's, unless you need a you don't need it. device it's, you don't need it yeah but mm -mm. no it's like when i tell people um uh when i tell people your first car needs to be a piece of shit when you buy your first car it needs to be a reliable piece of shit so that way as you drive it and as you learn your car you will slowly but surely learn whether or not you know what what parts of a car you like do you mm -hmm. want to get a better car do you not care about driving it doesn't matter what you drive I mean, it, it, and if it breaks down, who cares? It's just it, that's your first test car. It's supposed exactly. to break down eventually. Exactly. It's the same thing with PCs in a way. Just buy something that's cheap, and it'll last you for however long you need it to, and it'll tell you what you care about in gaming. I miss like my I took I now. took the enthusiast route. <laughs> yeah. So I spent I spend a lot of money on my PC because I'm a PC enthusiast. And it's my, among my favorite hobbies, and other people just don't care as much, so they don't upgrade. But yeah. It's All sometimes right, amazing cool. to me how, how we often have to explain basic truths, you know, like <laughs> hobbies are like a thing, choice. some people care more about hobbies, hobbies. Um, some people care less about I hobbies, know. this is how the difference in PC gaming comes uh, to be, and I, I sometimes don't believe it, how basic we have to get in order to explain to people why yeah. things are the way it's, they are. It's, 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 it's amazing, crazy, really. isn't it? It's, it's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, like something I don't even think about because it's just like, it's like there are people out there who buy stamps, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they don't yeah. even use them for letters. Yes, they just buy stamps, and that's what they do. They collect stamps. Yeah, and they might spend thousands of dollars on a stamp collection, and someone looks like that and say that's stupid to spend all that money on stamps, but that's their hobby. Yeah, and a lot of people would look at buying just a console and say that's a waste of money because they think it's a stupid hobby. I would say I that that sometimes <laughs> it's it it can be a very decent waste of money yeah i mean it, well, time, you, know time you enjoy wasting is not time wasted with and buy right right Legit. this is cold eastwood if you lost your temper and hammer fisted your keyboard please leave a like yeah, no, this, is just, the, well, this um, is just the obligatory uh -huh. hey subscribe yeah, yeah. if you yeah, was like, good, you... you wouldn't need to tell people mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah I've I don't I've never told people to just subscribe to me. I don't think I've ever done it in a video. I just find I assume it's people redundant. I assume people just do it. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like when someone says, "Hey, leave your leave your opinion in the comment section below." Oh, thanks. I didn't realize it was below. Uh, right. I do it every now and then because <laughs> statistics have shown that that people do engage more if you remind them. Some people just I, I'm yeah, sure they do. Yeah, no, they do, that's yeah. fine, but don't tell them that it's below the video. Right. They oh, no, right. no. no, it's like how how long have it's you like, probably been on this site? Maybe a day here. Let me let me teach you around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like don't, you are on YouTube. Don't patronize <laughs> Happy me again. That you bought the GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, nah, Consider that, subscribing, that's the end, isn't it? Stay yeah. tuned in the coming yeah. weeks. I no, am but, very happy uh, that I, mean, I bought two of them, and I will not be subscribed. I might just because you're such a lol. No, nope, no. Nope. Very <laughs> special guest for my show, someone I've never worked with on. It wasn't Crap me, game. unfortunately. <laughs> was it really? Who was it? I don't know. Oh, let's keep going. Um, le <laughs> let me wait. When was this video? Because I, w I, what's I think his, a week or oh, oh, a half ago. Um, yeah, he made this a week ago. Um, Xbox One gamers deserve this upgrade to Xbox One X. Oh, there's even more upgrades. Shit. Remember, upgrading is bad if it's on PC. <laughs> um. He even made a video that says 1080p 60 better than 4K 30. What the Console hell? Console parity resolution, Xbox versus PS4 Pro. I don't understand. Who is this guy? Like, He's two people. I... He's two people. Colt, it's Colt and his buddy Eastwood. Oh my god. He's like <laughs> on the opposite side of both spectrum. The far opposite side of both spectrum. It's like, it's like, it's like a fight club. God. <laughs> like it's two people. I just, I, I don't understand. I just don't understand. Let us finish this fucking video. I'm getting yeah. annoyed by this okay. shit. Sorry, yeah, let's on YouTube and someone I've been following for a couple years now. All right, that's it that's for true. now. What? I'll Who? see you in the comment section. Okay. <laughs> I mean, no, he doesn't say. He says it's just gonna be a surprise. He doesn't say. I don't care. I don't care enough to know. Is he? I don't he's still. Care, I think he's. Honest. I think he's still playing against bots because number two, Tanner Faust is a real person. I, I, I was about to say this Here, like ten minutes ago, and I forgot. I, I was about to say at least Colt is poning those bots. Yeah, like, like a pro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's right first piece sticking it to the computer. Yep. Yeah. Really knows CPU can't that. keep up with him. Nope. <laughs> CPU. That's why people think CPU means computer. I'll see you in the comment section. <laughs> I'll see you in the comment section. As soon as I approve your comment. Yeah.
Well, a PC fraud? No, we're not like you. We don't assume the worst of people. Yeah, I don't think we have to. We have to actually fraud. listen to what people say before we make fun of them. So like, no, we don't assume you're a PC fraud. Okay, it's like when yeah. you tell me you play on PC, like I'll believe you. I'll it just makes you look it. worse. Yes. Yeah, it just, it just makes you look worse, but I'll believe you. I, I also couldn't come up with a reason why somebody would lie about the platform they play on. Like, why would yeah. you? It's like anyone. Like my Steam profile is public. Anybody can look at it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like I music. Like, you can see what I play, how many hours I put in. I use too much, but no, it's all right. I get out. I fuck bitches. <laughs> no. Oh. All right. Later. It's cold. That was great. Right. That was fantastic. That was a, that was a. <laughs> wow. Was... I have enough now because I this is this video. So I'm I'm dead now in my brain in my head. Mm, so that was pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. I've heard of this video, but that's pretty bad. Well, yeah. I I actually got it. I got it linked to me like maybe six or seven times in in the last week and i yeah. couldn't watch it i i i got through like the first maybe 13 <laughs> seconds and went i'm not watching this this is a waste of time <laughs> like, i can't and then when rags was like this... hey let's let's check this out i was like ah crap <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's my Damn. fault i suggested it um fuck how <laughs> that 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 was that took a while but it was fun yeah it was yes. fun. <laughs> yeah. it was I think we should do. I'm sorry to tell you guys, I'm gonna we have should. to go. Definitely. I got oh, you. Yeah, no, yeah, me yeah, too. Probably. So, okay. Yeah. Well, it was a blast, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. That it was. And yes, it uh, was. we're gonna try to do this every two weeks now. I'm not gonna say mm -hmm. Fortnite anymore to, in order to untrigger Rex. I'm gonna say Fortnite. Screw okay. Yeah. And I'm saying it again. <laughs> Fuck you, Rex. Well, I'm not in a fort. I'm not in a fort, and there's a few forts around me. I don't understand. <laughs> it's not night, and hey, uh, I'll, would... I'll, I'll see you guys in a fort. It's night here. It's Okay, it's see you guys PM in a fortnight. Here. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Catch you later, everyone. See you guys. Bye. The comment section can be located beneath the video. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe to all of us on that little red button right there.